trying to give him like assistant director. <laughs> I do. It's you true. love the world where Chad needs more resume yeah, credits. Well, be surprised. <laughs> you just don't want to list most of them. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> hey, buddy! Welcome to the show! It's the day before Thanksgiving! Woo! Which means that a lot of us don't have to work tomorrow, so uh, hold on, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> I host my, my, my wife's side of the family, and I'm gonna be Hung over as fuck. <laughs> I no. Oh god. <laughs> Last night, I think I was talking about it with you guys, wasn't I? Where you guys were like, "What? Do you, how do you think tomorrow's gonna go?" And I went, "If I know Chad." <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go hard tomorrow. <laughs> Because he's got some shit to do <laughs> on Thursday that he doesn't want to do. So he's just gonna he's gonna start his weekend off with a bang. Right. Yeah, cool. I'm like a I'm like an open fucking book with with like letters this big on the page. I've just known you for a while it's now, yeah, and I true. feel like I, other people have known you longer. But I feel like we've gotten to know each other <laughs> rather intimately I mean, in our time. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody else have like one of those moms who, yes. like, they have a uh, sense of <laughs> smell that doesn't that seems superhuman? No. Sense of smell? No. no. Okay. I don't know what you're talking no. about. What would your mother be smelling? If I drank a lot the previous day, no matter how much I shower, she can smell it coming through my pores. Wow. Well, that's because you, you're, you become the most hungover human being on the planet. <laughs> I've never met somebody who gets hungover quicker and more frequently than you. And that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to get drunk to get hungover the next day. This was, before, this was when I was younger, though. This was before I had that problem. <laughs> <laughs> that problem. We're clearly coming in a little hot tonight, so everybody bear with us. Woot. All right. Nose goes. Oh, I guess it's me. <laughs> well, I mean. I've got to be honest with you. I don't really remember the, the rest of that evening and into the morning. I kind of remember the morning. I remember being really tired and also really awake. <laughs> you did have a lot of coffee that evening. Mm -hmm. So, we got to an inn called the Biggin. We we got a room, number 312. Mm -hmm. Duncan works off his drunken stupor with coffee and onion rings. Ooh, we onion sit rings? down for a dinner of rutabaga soup, and it's delicious. I remember the onion rings. They're quite nice. Mm -hmm. We met William Rafton, a bard with the theater group. He wants a guide to take him into the forest to find herbs. Chucky shows up with some info on our seeing stones. There's an alchemist that lives in the woods near the mine in north of here that can make them. No one has seen her in a while, and she doesn't like people. Hallowell is her name. Info came from a guy at the Pennyworth. Used to get herbs and mushrooms from her. We decided to go get William and bring him along so he'll pay for Chucky. We couldn't find him, so we're going on a bar crawl with Chucky to find William. Poor idea in hindsight, but now Chucky has promised us 10% of what William pays him. We start at the best rest. It's a shithole. The bottom's bottom is our next bar. It's a nicer bar and big. Billy's there playing music. We all leave for the woods. It's a tough trek, but we make it to Hollowale's house. The entire clearing is a garden. Would you remember? Joseph mm -hmm. carried me the whole way. He did. Mm -hmm. He was mm -hmm. very nice. I oh, saw some bones hanging from her I'm window. Over. Small bones. I got nervous. <laughs> Chucky just walked into her house and got his ass shot with a crossbow. Hallowell is a human. A human living in the forest. She can make our stones, but was weird about it. It will require ore from the mine, which is just over the ridge to the north, a hundred yards, not far. Look for the blue stones that glow like glass. There is a reason the mine is abandoned, because the forest moved in, and she's not super excited. She knows about the right. She knew the old guard. She doesn't remember her own name. It's June or Julie. 
She wasn't part of the guard, uh, and she remembers Genevieve. She was an older drow woman, intense. Um, She let us know that whatever is on the other side of the window that we make will be able to see us too, so that is the risk we are willing to take. Um, The old guard apparently had her make a box, and she asked about fucking up a cube thing. They put a thing in a thing, and Hallowell helped. We are assuming the box was for the demon. Right. Um, we're going to the mine. Hallowell thinks William has something special about him. We're sleeping in the barn and heading out in the morning. Those are the notes that I took. My favorite part was they put a thing in a thing. A thing in a thing. <laughs> Good notes. Good you notes. Liked, I remember you liked Hallowell as well. I did like Hallowell. She was a bit of a grumpy old lady. Yeah. Bagby grew up with a grumpy old lady, so she likes grumpy old ladies. How's the spaghetti? It looks it looks medium. I'll be honest with you. It smells sweet. Mm-hmm. It is sweet because Valentino's uses a lot of sugar. Lots of sugar in there with him. Yep. Yeah. I don't I don't like sweet. <coughs> it was the, it was the one restaurant that my diabetes class warned us about. <laughs> yeah. Don't go there. And yet, here we are. Well, they just said you can't like go way overboard. It's like uh, don't eat it every day. Yeah. <laughs> don't eat don't eat it ever. <laughs> no, they, they did want us not. It's good. I like it. It's good. Yeah. I don't like sweet marinara, so that would be a turn off mm. for me. But. So you wouldn't like it. You wanna try a bite? No, I don't. You sure? Mm. You want me to I can chew is it? it? This is it delightful. Mm-hmm. Kinda of full actually. Okay. Thank you. You should have some of it? It's this stuff. I got so one good. that's Reese's Popped Snack Mix and one that's Hershey's mm-hmm. Popped mm-hmm. Snack Mix. The Hershey's is at the bottom. That's not good for anybody. This is so no, good. No, it's terrible, but apparently... And you're just going to sit there and chew on it. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry about that. Because he's not a cat anymore, get it? If <laughs> 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 if. if Forgot about sure the consequences like of staying a cat for a really long time. I love it. It's so good. Because I don't like caramel. This is a. Uh, this is gonna take a while to clear up. <laughs> You're so lucky that you don't mm. like it. Oh, and yes, I'm loving Mandalorian. By the way, man, it's so good, right? It's a Shit. western. It 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 watches as a western. It uh, mm-hmm. it play it. In my mind, it's more of a samurai western than a than a, a typical western, but. Shit. So the fucking good. Mandalorian is Butch Cassidy, and Baby Yoda is his Sundance kid. <laughs> Aww. I don't want them to both get shot at the end of this. Can we not do that? They get shot. <laughs> they get shot. As long as they don't go to Bolivia, they'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Space Bolivia. <laughs> if any harm comes to Baby Yoda, I will riot. I think the Just entire the internet will catch fire. Will they might have, they might be having to reshoot some stuff right now, because of the way the internet has caught on to the the love for Baby Yoda. <laughs> Indeed. But it's not Yoda. It's Baby Yoda. It's not. It's a no. Yoda. It's the species of Yoda. No, you don't know what the name of the species is, so it's a baby Yoda. Except for the random group of neckbeards who made up a name of the species, <laughs> and they're super intent about it being that name. Yeah, but those guys, fuck them, right? Like, <laughs> those are the worst versions of fans. So hard to make it a thing. Was it actually made up by fans, or <laughs> mm-hmm. was it... It was made up by fans. George Lucas has never given a name to the species. Right, but there were so many books written that were not... George Lucas was like, fuck it, just do it. I, we, I, I don't care. And none of them are canon. But was it actually written in a Star Wars book that technically had the rights to make Star Wars? Probably there's seventy three thousand of those fucking books. <laughs> Any sack of shit with a pen and paper got to write one of those books. I really liked the X Wing series. I think Chad wrote four of them. <laughs> I'd read those. It was the ones in crayon. The <laughs> Oh, I definitely read those. <laughs> the good ones? Yeah. They were all in crayon? The good ones were? Okay. okay. This is a lie. I know. It's got to be a lie. Let's get started. Because I know he's got it up. Bars is commenting, so Bars has it. I know. <clears throat> what? Maybe they don't count the ones that come from the same IP anymore. 
What are we talking? What are we talking about? Here, I'll the add viewers. Mine it says happens. that there are only two viewers, but Chad and I are sitting here with our laptops up. I'm sure Phil. Well, they probably don't count si singular IP anymore. Um, Sorry. Thanks, Bars, for being our one viewer. But if I hook up through my VPN at work, would that be a separate view? It would. <laughs> it would because it's, uh, I mean, you know that's how VPN works. Or I'm going to try it because I'm on it. It says there's only two. Okay. All right. So, do you we're remember where barn. you left off? It's about ready we to be nighttime, and we're going to the barn to sleep. Yes, you were going to go get some shut eye. Mm -hmm. Hey, just went up to three. So I think I was on the UP. Did UP and then disconnected. Chucky stay with you guys, or did he go back to town? Fairly certain he stayed. He no. stayed. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know. Uh, Billy's still with you. Yeah. I think Chucky was going to stay in the barn while we went to the mine because he was going to still be our guide on our way back to town. Right. Because because apparently he did a terrible job doing that. If yes. you remember. Um. But Hollowell does not want him near her. Right. He's drunk. You know. Um. So that evening, uh, <laughs> barn is small. It's more of a, it's more of a. Uh, <laughs> she shed. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, tool shed of sorts. Uh, butcher's shed. There's probably a bit of a smell to it as well. Just like home. Is there enough hay on there to grow in so that we can make little beds for everyone? Mm, hard dirt. Fine. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> I don't know that I can find a place to rest. Hi, hey, Ori. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, a great creepy. Joseph. <laughs> well, that's right. I forgot I'm running him. Let me pull his. Hold me closer. <laughs> where, where? Tiny stoner. <laughs> See that see, that seems like a pejorative here, and I really don't. <laughs> I really don't think that Joe would talk to me that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mike playing playing Joseph did a lot of damage to your relationship. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're uh, I guess we're sleeping on the ground because uh, I guess I don't have a bedroll. That's weird. That's up to you. If you don't have a bedroll, everybody, please check your check your equipment. I do. I was sure. Of, I you sure do of not have one. a bedroll. Please roll con save. You don't. Oh, you don't need to save. He just stuns there. He doesn't move for a while. For a while. I have a blanket, but I am very used to sleeping on ground. For sleeping underground, do you want me to make a con save? No, you're fine. Okay, you're fine. Joseph has a bedroll. I have a bedroll and the blanket. Uh, of course, he has a bedroll. Which is uh, interesting because you're fine. Uh, the, I was going to say you don't get a long rest if you don't mm -hmm. pass it, but you do. So everybody gets a long rest here. I don't know if that matters. <clears throat> Add that to your character. Going to do the long rest. I would. I. I, I suppose. Uh, I suppose Ori would be sort of used to roughing it. In the middle of the night. Roll perception, everybody. If you're asleep, that's at a. It's going to be a pretty heavy negative. Is he anyone's watching guard? You, you're. He can't. He doesn't sleep, so you don't sleep, so you're watching guard. So I'm sleeping then. <laughs> he's the scariest. He just stands next to windows so as he's totally in a shutdown state. Yeah. And people walk by. Him. Fuck. <laughs> Packers. Oh. oh, fuck the Packers. You better watch your mouth, don't you know? 10. Dirty 20. 7, 6. Okay, so no. Oh. I rolled a natural oh. 20 oh. first. Sorry but, about um, that. You want to go on it? I'm upset. Yes. That's fine. Sorry. That's fine. Um, what was yours, Patrick? Dirty 20. Dirty 20. In the middle of the night, there's a... 
rustling in the... So I told you this is a bit of a clearing that is all garden, right? Mm -hmm. There's a bit of a rustling in the trees off behind the tree line. Um, Nothing enters, but you distinctly hear talking. You can't tell what is being said, but you know it's conversation of a language. You know what I mean? Um, just wandering past, it only, it's only there for 30 seconds and then it disappears. And you never have another issue. I hear it in the tree line. Nothing comes into the clearing. Nothing comes into the clearing. Okay. It sounds like it's moving by, not toward. You know what I mean? You can hear it yeah. in one direction. You can hear it slowly move. Yeah. It, it sounds like more than one uh, person. Would it be like a group of five? <laughs> no. I, I don't know. Sure, yes. <laughs> or how, I, I don't know. How, how, how many uh, boys are there? were there in one direction? I, I don't remember. <laughs> you know what? That sounds like a good idea. I want it that way. I hate all of you. <laughs> <laughs> These are One Direction references, aren't they? Uh, they, that, they were boy that band was, references. That was, that was, boy that was just boy band. Was band. Really I don't know any One Direction songs. Because that I'm was old. actually Backstreet Boys. And that's what makes you beautiful. That's a One Direction song. There you go. There it is. <clears throat> wow. We're good. You light up my world like nobody else. I'm so glad I don't know these references. Shut up. (laughs) Stop lying to people. Would it be better if we made, like, Beatles references for you? Ooh. Well, for him, we would have to do, like... I don't know a lot of the ink spots. Can you help me out here? (laughs) I was thinking more like Sinatra or something. I don't know. Well, sure, when he was in college... (laughs) (laughs) I'm getting the old jokes now, not you. (laughs) He just put his head down. (laughs) (laughs) Don't pull me in this. Come on, man. Leave me alone. Um, Okay. We're up to four viewers, so something. (laughs) (laughs) Penetration. Penetration, penetration, penetration. <laughs> it's like basil juice for us. More, uh, do okay. you wake, do okay. you wake people up to f- because of the noise? It doesn't sound like it's. Uh, it's definitely a group of people of some sort. But does it sound menacing? Does it sound? No, it sounds like normal, fairly normal conversation. You, it, the problem is, it's like when people talk across the street. You have no idea yeah. what they're saying, but you can tell they're talking. Kind of like your neighbors in the north as I was walking into the house today. Yeah. Something was definitely going on. But. Well, the neighbors <laughs> oh, yeah. to the north, um, uh, their house got foreclosed on I because did. they have not paid their taxes. And I saw the big dumpster that's out there mm-hmm. right now. Yep. And that's the best thing that's happened to this neighborhood in a very long time. I have many things on the back of my porch and my deck that would love a home in that dumpster. I, I was fully contemplating putting both of my couches into that motherfucker. But <laughs> a full sink, a ceiling fan... Two by fours. <laughs> Just uh, Phil body. and Bars having their own conversation in chat tonight. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> um, Keep those two by fours. Morning. Morning funny. comes. Yeah, as long as it's not menacing, I don't think I'd, but I'll tell them about it in the morning. Okay. But. Yep. And you don't hear it again. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, morning comes. You wake with the morning light. Good morning. Morning. Again, this is a bit of a clearing, so you actually do get first Ooh. breaks of sunlight as opposed to a lot of the forest. It's quite beautiful out there this morning. Look at the way the light filters through the leaves from the top of the trees. It's what beautiful. Roll perception again, unless you'd like to keep your previous one, which most of you would not. Well, 21. Joseph rolled an 18, and I rolled a natural 20. Don't worry about Joseph rolling perception checks. Okay. 11. Uh, well, unless... I rolled a natural 20. Okay. Natural 20, 11. Not so good. 
21. 21. We're expected to do better than that. Um, this isn't too difficult. Um, 14 and 11, you, uh, you wake up and you see that um, something's bloomed in the garden while you were... What about that there? Um, the 20 and 21. The natural 20 and 21. Actually, I should probably give you something extra for the natural. But the, uh, so 20 and 21, you, uh, the garden has changed shape. Even while you were, you didn't notice it while you were standing there looking out. But some of the plants are actually different around different parts of the garden. Um, natural 20, now that you're uh, paying attention, so there's walkways through it. And they're just covered by little stones, and those are all warded around the gar garden. You noticed it, it. You noticed it during the night. You thought the plants were like blooming or something like that. But now that the full light is out, you can see that it's not just blooming; it's changed. Like the garden has actually changed. Yeah. That's interesting. That's quite beautiful, isn't it? You know, along with being. Uh, <clears throat> rather beautiful, I need to point out that some of these plants that are here right now weren't here yesterday. There were plants that aren't here anymore. They've been, like, replaced. What are you saying? Are you saying the plants moved? I'm saying that the plants that are here right now are not the same plants that were here last night. That Where did those plants go? Are you still in the shed or you've all gone outside? I'm outside. I would say yeah. we're all, like, circled around kind of contemplating this. Um... Hallowell has come out of her house and she has a garden basket, if you know what I'm talking about. There's no edges, it's just mm -hmm. like the curved shape. Thing. Good starts. morning. Ah, uh, good morning, children. Your garden changed. Yes, it's Tuesday. She starts wondering. Is it Tuesday already? What happened to Monday? You can tell it's Tuesday you know because the pumpkins have moved in along the side. Oh. <laughs> there definitely wasn't pumpkins yesterday. Okay, okay. Tuesdays is pumpkins. Got it. <clears throat> and uh, it's it's and it's uh strange getting getting the whole children comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look young. Uh, thank you. <laughs> That's very nice of you to say. I'm nine. You do too. <clears throat> Uh, are you heading out right away? Probably. I got a quick question before we head out, though. Uh, uh, yes. Last night I heard some voices uh, in the trees out there. It sounded like a conversation was going on. I heard them, too. Yeah, you, you know what any of that's about? <clears throat> no. It was strange I'm walking by so late in a group, but uh, I assumed a hunting party. Uh, I try not to... But, they, but uh, they're, they're generally they, not that big. I don't know. It's they, strange. And, and who would hunt at night? Someone was walking by? Well, there are some things that only... that prefer the night. Like mm, vampires. Animal-wise. Yeah, they're looking like for vampires. something specific. Oh, I think you've been reading too many of the books. Are there vampires out here? <laughs> I haven't seen any. <laughs> That well, that's reassuring. That but with the fo with the nature of the forest, things coming in and out, shift in and out, you know. So maybe yeah, there could have been something. Well, it didn't sound menacing at all. So uh, I, 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 I'm curious, I, Crucible. What direction were they going? Uh, well, they they, they 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 went in the one direction. To do. <laughs> ah! Quit playing games with my heart, man. The. <laughs> If I wasn't so bald, you could see my hairy styles. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, in answer to your earlier question, yes, I heard some. There's like a conversation going on out in the woods, and it started over there, and then it ended up over there where I couldn't hear it anywhere. I couldn't quite hear what they were saying. Quite frankly, if I they, could tell they, what they were saying, I don't know if I could understand the language they were speaking. They headed, because of the nature of your role, they were headed from 
You don't know where they're coming from, per se, because of the forest. And, you know, per se, I couldn't tell where they were coming from. But they were heading back towards the way you but came into the back area. back towards the way that we came into the area. I see they're going away from where we're going? Maybe they were going? Where we going? No, they were not. What was distinctly. the question? That they were going oh. away from the way that we're about to go? Yes or no? No. No. They're going towards the way we're about to go? No, they're going towards the way you've came, came to come from. here. Yes, came you from. get here. I. They headed back that direction. Right. So who was on first? Eleven. Games with oh, hey there, Skeddies. Hey, Skeddies. All right. We talked about penetration and... and Skeddies. Uh, everyone's Skeddies here now? Shut up. All right. Orcs isn't here, but everyone else is here. Shall we? There aren't enough orcs. Everyone else is here. I think we Somewhere. should go. To the mine that is. Me. Okay. Yes. Uh, before we head out, is there anything we need to prepare? Breakfast? <clears throat> that would be pleasurable. Acceptable? Acceptable was the word I was looking for. Hey. Should we do a, a walking breakfast then? You have rations. Just the ration, I think. The caramel popcorn? With the drizzle? It's delightful. I can go through like an entire Do you guys want bowls? I can go get some bowls or something. I have plates. Yeah, there's plates. Want some plates? I can't have too much of that because I want to have a brownie. <laughs> Go have a brownie. There are plates literally oh, right man. here, so I, I think we're good. We should. Uh, That's part of the reason Andrew made it in the middle of the afternoon, so that it was available for stream time. I, I will. Next one who goes up brings the brownies down. <laughs> They're just box brownies. They're nothing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they are damn Can good I because they're yummy. Will you bring me a glass of water, please? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> it's really hard to say no when I use this voice because it's so cute. Right. It's true. That's what you think. It's the, not what I think. And try, I'm always right. Try GMing. The, um... <laughs> she has tried GMing. But for that voice, I mean. <laughs> what? You GM'd. I know. My voice isn't vulnerable. Yeah, but you can say no to anything when you're GMing. That's my point. Oh, I thought you were complaining about You're a player. Things. You're saying a thing. The answer is no. Yes. <laughs> Until I think about it further and go, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's still no. And then it's still probably no. Okay. Um, roll. Oh, Billy's with you. I haven't done Bill yet. Uh, All right. Good morning, William. Good morning. Uh, how are you? I slept terribly. Well, feeling a little hoarse from all the... <coughs> was that his voice? I think he was like... It was orphanish British. Yeah. Uh -huh. Close enough. Yeah, just got got a little bit of hairball thing going on, but otherwise... Um, oh, uh, you brought the whole platter? Not so bad. He told, me to bring, he told me to bring him down. <laughs> who? Thank you. Chad told me to bring him down. Yeah, but did my wife who made them? <laughs> she didn't have that conversation with Chad. I'm going to put it right next to Chad. <laughs> All right, I will message my wife. We Tell have her. your brownies. We have your brownies. We have demands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. So... What'd you guys decide while I was By away? the way, William, this is Ori in his, like, normal person mode, as opposed to his cat person that you only know him as. William didn't sleep well. Oh, that's so bad. I'm assuming it's because he prefers a softer bed to lie in. He seems like kind of a dandy to me. No offense. He had a bad roll. He did. I think he's perfectly dandy. Like in the you're just dandy kind of way. It feels a bit odd to not get a at least a bit of a wash bath, a wash basin bath in the morning, but let's make a day of it. We're adventurers and whatnot. <laughs> right. 
right? Yep, the great outdoors. <laughs> I mean, Duncan could make a shower for you. He can control water. I'm not into that, but thank you. He wouldn't look. I'm just saying if, if like, bathing is something that you have to do in order to be, like, effective in battle... <laughs> Duncan could look away and just make the water rain down. I think you missed the joke, but the, um... <laughs> I did, but it's fine. Duncan can make a shower? Ah. Uh, <laughs> you're gross. But, uh, to be fair, I actually gave myself several baths yesterday. Uh, that's kind of half the problem. <laughs> what do you want, then? Booze? Of anything? Um, tea? Of any kind? T that one. This kind? Yeah. Um these very well. So you want to try it? Hallowell points you just says over the hill, directly behind the house. And points you said hundred yards that way. Just don't turn. Which is actually harder than a lot of people think. Since mm-hmm. I can't see. Since the winding roads and whatnot. Yeah. All right, Chucky then. is dead asleep because he was drunk. Mm-hmm. We're just going to leave him in there. Charles! Maybe we'll be back before he wakes up. He's not coming. Charles! Shh. You stay here! <laughs> Charles! I don't He's think, not waking up. Yeah, I don't think you're going to wake up, Chuck. <laughs> See what you did there? <laughs> no, Chuck. <laughs> All right. I watched Godzilla, King of the Monsters, the sequel, the new sequel. Oh, so there's right. more. There's way more monster fights. It was quite fun. Disposables. The monster. Every time there was a monster fight happening, it was the best thing I've ever seen. And every time there was actors acting, it made me want to poke, <laughs> pull both of my eyes out. You don't watch that movie for the acting? But there's a, like an hour and a half of it. <laughs> of just the acting. It's true. Millie Bobby Brown at 13 or 14 was the best actor in that fucking movie. It's true. In what? Godzilla? King of the Monsters. King of the Monsters. The sequel. I still had fun watching it. Why did they keep? It. Why did the scientists keep getting on the helicopters to go to places where they would die? <laughs> because it was in the script. And you have to do it. It's a real shit. It's in the script. Just show me monster it? fighting. <laughs> if they just said Godzilla oh, no, kicks the crap out of some other monsters, I would watch that fucking movie. <laughs> I would pay for that. <laughs> you need a you need a mic cut, or <laughs> you just take the fighting. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'll just do like I'll just do like ten seconds of black screen. Some people talk. Nothing really happened. Here's this. I have a friend who cut recut uh, episode one of Star Wars to make it just a movie about you and McGregor as Obi Wan Kenobi. That sounds like Topher so- Grace's cut. Of the- <laughs> have you heard about that? Topher Grace from that '70s show did a cut of the. All the prequels oh, into one, into one movie, movie, and apparently it's amazing. <laughs> but Disney made him not show anybody. Mm-hmm. Like he showed a few people, and then he got like de- uh, cease and desisted. It's Disney. So. But yeah, he he cut the th- he cut all three movies into one movie, and apparently it's incredible. <laughs> if you just cut out the bullshit. There's like some really good like action sequences. Oh yeah. fuck yeah, Darth Maul's a. Darth Maul's a badass. There's a there's a fan cut of The Hobbit where they cut it down to just one movie. And Which it so should have been actually, because The Hobbit is a short book. It's actually really, really good. He did that too. Are you telling me you're friends with Topher Grace? Is this how you're just casually telling us you're friends <laughs> with Topher Grace? No, I would never tell you that. <laughs> Do you really call him Topher though? Because that's a fucked up first name. Hello Topher. Can't do it. It's like me calling myself Trek. Let's just call him Tof. Maybe T. Tof T. T. Something like that. Yeah. Maybe he's got a middle name that's better. What was his name on that 70s show? Eric. 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 Call him Eric. <laughs> the, um... <laughs> okay. I call him dumbass. <laughs> 
My dad, I... my dad has never identified to another person, a character on television more than he identified <laughs> Red to Red Foreman. Foreman. <laughs> and that is accurate. Right. I, I remember exactly one point in my high school career. I think it was a sophomore. No, I was a junior. He looked at me, and he, and he was watching that 70s show. They were doing the thing. They were saying all the lines, and he pointed at me and said, Ha-ha, you're the dumbass. And I went, <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yep. He wasn't wrong, though. I mean... I'll kill you in your sleep. <laughs> the... Okay, so we're heading to the mine. <laughs> so, uh, roll survival. That's way better for me. Roll survival to just walk straight for 100 yards in the forest that is trying to kill you. Dirty 20. Not kill you, but get you lost. Woo, thanks, Caddies. 21. Oh, Skitty! 14. The Avatar of Penetration has started. Yay. <laughs> That's the weirdest magic card. Avatar of Penetration. 6-6 six, six for 6. 21. 21, sorry. 30-20. Yep. 23. 14. Okay. Well, you're fine. Because everybody <laughs> else rolled. Well, I was going to say, as long as I'm following other people. Yeah. Um, I think an Ori should probably take point in this. I should probably roll for. Okay. I mean, you're more familiar with the place than we are, with the forest and all. Well, I haven't been to this spot. But it's well, still and even forest. if I had, it would be. Completely William different. looks more uncomfortable with his situation than you do, Crucible. <laughs> As he is expected, probably. I'm, I, I, I suppose I kind of uh, remember a little bit about the magics and stuff that happen out here and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I, I'll. Uh, you dropped your needle. I did. I'll keep a keen enough? eye and I'll do my best. So passing behind the house, there's a little bit of the what the garden is surrounding the place. You head into the tree line and you immediately start heading uphill. And you can see the hill from the house. I mean, that's not. Difficult. How heavily wooded is this area? Pretty fucking heavily like, wooded. Like, would you say thick? Two C's. <laughs> the like dummy thick. Like dummy thick. Like horse's ass thick. Fuck off with your bullshit. Horses. <laughs> Horses. The <laughs> fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. <laughs> the... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's let's get back on track. We're trying to keep it straight. I was trying to keep it gay, but the uh, keep it gay, keep it gay, keep it gay. <laughs> yeah. fuck you, music. <laughs> Fucking musical theater kid. You made a reference. I only followed through. It's true. <clears throat> um. Uh, following your three, well, Ori, and then you, you guys helping. You're able to just go up the hill. Um, it's pretty easy from the, the first thing you do is you stand at the bottom of the hill and you look it, even from in the yard and you could see a couple of uh, decent landmarks at the top of the hill that you just aimed for and headed up and that covers over half the trip you get to the top you look back down and you can see a clearing with a mine opening leading into not this hill, but what this hill becomes. Um, it, 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 it's like a minor mountain off to the right. And that's where it goes. You know what I mean? It's a minor mountain with the mine in it. Yes. Okay. I would like to roll down the hill. Okay. <laughs> roll acrobatics. <laughs> oh, look, we found the mine. Oh, and there she goes. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to do this. If you roll a one, I sunny bono you. 23. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's messed up. Do you remember how he died? <laughs> I, I, I would say that's yeah, messed up, and I can't believe there. you said it, but I know you have said it several times before. Sunny bone over before. Oh, whoa. What? You're ridiculous. Kick his ass. What? So 
So how how's your how's the rolling going? Yeah, I rolled a twenty-three. Well, yeah, I mean you do it. You roll a twenty-three, and then it becomes like a superhero land in its end. You pa- the mine. It, it's interesting. You go over some tree roots, under some. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's almost as if whatever small path you have chosen, it's like a downhill course for barrel rolls. So. Now roll con check because you've been doing that. 18. Blood chunks. Doesn't it ruin all the fun when your players get good rolls? <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Wanted her to vom so goddamn bad, but she's not going to. I'm a monk. You do get that's up dizzy. Our, you do get up dizzy. Training is to spin around many times before we. You did that in the underdark training. You yes. just spun in circles. You never know how a captor will torture you. You have to be prepared for everything. So there's a baseball bat training. Yes. You just put your head down. And you turn around <laughs> until you vomit, oh, they, and then you know your limit. They, they ride that tilt-a-whirl a lot. Tilt-a-hurl. I always puke on that fucking thing. Ew. I haven't done that since I was a kid. Anything that spins makes me Yeah, I can't do it. I don't do... I get motion sick real fucking easy. The, um... Um, I would say... Uh, well, I suppose we should, uh, pick up the pace a little bit so that, uh... Bagby's not alone for too long. Um, d- don't leave me, please. Thank you. Uh, you you'll, you'll be fine. Just hop to, hop to. If you're picking up the pace, you need to roll athletics to go down the hill. Then I won't pick up the pace. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my sweet ass time. Well... Billy pretends to pick up the pace, but my god, he's moving at your pace. <laughs> I imagine that none of us pick up pace then, because, uh... That's a seven. Nope. <laughs> Crucible? No, I'm, I'm walking normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at the bottom of the hill, roll perception. Okay. Young lady, you are dizzy. Would you like me to roll at disadvantage for being dizzy? Yes. That was probably in good call for you, because my first roll was an 18. My second roll was a 4. <laughs> so, 7. Okay. So, you see um, cave entrance, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of vegetation around it. But there is a little bit of a clearing around this cave entrance. Hmm. That's weird. And cool, and pretty, and maybe completely normal. I don't really know. I don't know much about trees. I don't know why I'm talking to myself. Hurry up! I'm alone. It was, uh... Raid will be there soon! You could always roll down the hill like me. No, I don't <laughs> think we could. I think you are the perfect size and shape to pull that off in a significant fashion. I don't think Crucible. <laughs> you don't Here, I'll roll. <laughs> he might It'd be have like a Andy Samberg in, in Hot Rod. <laughs> oh, that movie's so good. I realize now that when I was asked to take point, I was not asked to take a leadership position since nobody's really, you know, listening to the things I say. But now I know <laughs> what it's about, and I don't feel as disappointed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let me get that guy as Annex. The... <laughs> okay. The rest of you get to the bottom. Do you actually, do you, before they get there, do you move at all? Nope, I just sit there and wait. Okay. The rest of you get to the bottom. And rejoin your compatriot. Oh, hi there, Bagby. How was the trip? It was really fun. I'm probably going to do it when we go back the other direction, too. That was amazing. How you did that there? You just lay down and roll. Right, but you're quite small and you went down and you went under things and you went over things. It was quite nice. It was very inspiring. If I was a younger lad, I'd be all about it. Well, then you didn't hit things. Like you didn't pinball your way down. No, you didn't. Very talented. It's true. Sometimes there is a, a great thrill in taking personal risk for no Now reason. that the rest of you are down, roll perception. 19? 22. That fell out of it. No, wait. Dirty 20. No. 
Perception is far. Just 19. You're in trouble now. 13. The missus has noticed. Did you tell her Chad? No, I said Patrick. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? We stole bit. the brownies. I was the mastermind. Oh. That is a bold statement. But Patrick saying, yeah. did the deed. See, I worked that. Okay. He is the one that's in trouble now. Not me. That, welcome to my entire childhood. <laughs> and most of my adult years, actually. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> just passing the buck there, huh? I sure am. Yeah. <laughs> did you just send something to my wife? No. <laughs> you piece of shit. You piece you of shit. You threw me under the bus, didn't you? <laughs> you bastard. To be fair, it's a very small bus. The, uh... <laughs> okay. So, perceptions? Would you? I'm sorry, what did you roll? 19? 19. 22. 22. Oh, crap, it moved. Um, I think it was a 13. Okay, 13. Um, 13, you don't see anything that she didn't see. Uh, you see a clearing. Uh, it's uh, heavily vegetative around here, but you don't see anything else. Okay. You two see one exceedingly large tree directly above the, the entrance with a lot of the vegetation coming off of the roots branching down into it. Crucible? Do you see what I'm seeing? I definitely see what you're seeing. Oh, that's good that you guys have that connection. Thank you. What's going on? I think the tree there, it's doing, I don't know, something to the mines. Well, she did say that the forest had moved in. Andrea figured I was going to blame you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so like like literally roots dug into the mines right moving in I think maybe it thinks that it you know owns the mine or lives there or perhaps you know controls it in some way it's definitely trying to manipulate it Corey, can you talk to the trees like you did that one time and just right. tell them, oh, sorry, we're just going into the mine here to get some blue stones and we won't bother you much longer. Is the tree, uh, is the is is said tree blocking entry into said mine? Or is nope, it just the mine is wide open. In fact, um, for those of you who rolled well, uh, uh, the outside of the clearing shows signs of what the mine used to be. There's, um... There's actually a track path leading out. There's a extremely rusted and partially grown over minecart that's tipped over outside of it. And what you expect, what you think at one point was ruins of maybe some sort of like hut or housing something. It's a building that's so grown over, the entire roof is caved in, and most of the walls are gone. Mm. There's still some structural going on, you know what I mean? But it's so grown over, if you weren't paying attention, it would look like just growth. Right. Investigation on the would building. I? Okay, you're going to walk up to it. Yep. Okay. So he's walking out, are you all walking out with him? You're, what are you walking up to? The little the hut that has a little bit of structure. Yep, yeah, it, it's no bigger than a shed or anything like that. I go look at the um, the frame anywhere. Yeah. There's no roof. So. Twenty one at, at the mining cart. I go over there. Okay, investigation uh, twenty one on that. You uh, inside of it. There is a hard stone foundation. That's what's kept it in in where it's still standing. There's some beaming along the sides that are still kind of there, and the roof has definitely been just dragged off into nowhere. In fact, the roof is behind. On the ground, but mostly mostly covered by vegetation, behind where the structure actually is, as if it was pulled off and back. Hmm. Okay. Tell me about the upturned cart, then. What's your roll? Investigation. 
I don't know how to investigation so much. That is what? Intelligence. It's an intelligence roll. Oh, I do have some. Oh. Not great, though. Eight. Um, it's an overturned minecart. Mostly overgrown, very rusted. Uh, they, um, a couple of wheels are missing. Um, but nothing in particular uh, of importance there. You know what I mean? Is it the kind of cart that runs on tracks? It is. And the tracks you can actually see, I point, I tried to point them out earlier, yeah. but the, yes, the tracks you can actually see running into it. Um, you, you can't see most of the tie lines in the middle, Anymore because it's so overgrown. But the, track is, but the track is there because it was steel or iron or whatever it was at some point. Incredibly rusted. Are there the parts that are missing? Are they around there? Uh, you don't see anything with that investigation roll, sorry. The thing that are using the carts is probably more on the inside that have not been, that have not succumbed to the. Wear this is, yeah, I mean, the elements have, the yeah. elements, and the one elements one. are extreme here, right. obviously. Right. So the, the elements have around. taken this place. Right. All right. Um, I'm going to go, I'll, uh, folks, I'm, I'll, I'll go have a word with the tree there. Um, I just, once you guys are done looking at the things that you're looking at, just, you speak just to truth. be safe, since, uh, right. You know, different trees have different dispositions, so I can't really make any promises on how this is going to go. You speak druidic, not tree. <laughs> go for it. It's not like I can necessarily understand what it's thinking, but it's going to understand me, and I'm going to see a reaction, possibly. That's potential. Sure. So, All right. Well, yeah, you also speak primordial, and you speak a lot of stuff, so yeah. I'm, uh, I'm as close to Lorax as it gets. <laughs> I'm the Lorax, I speak for the trees. He doesn't speak for all of us, let's be real <laughs> Not He's all a trees. That's, that's quite He's a little racist, in it. <laughs> He's a little racist, and he doesn't speak for all of us, let's just say that. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm going to go... Uh, okay, so if everybody's done... Do your thing. I'll go... Make it Make it so. Go uh, have a word with the with the tree there. So can, can I crawl up onto the top of the mine shaft and uh, kind of uh, put my hand on the, on the shaft of the tree? Uh, um, the, yeah, um, it's a bit of a steep slope here, so roll athletics to get up there. Okay. <laughs> You two are terrible people. Yeah, you're really terrible people. The I'm, I'm just ignoring it. I'm just trying to get to the root of the issue here. Um, so Fuck off. 15. 15. Two. Nope. Whatever you say, I don't care. <laughs> don't be rude. Don't be rude. <laughs> See, I wasn't going to do that anymore. I was actually done. You're going to leaf it behind? <laughs> oh, God. I would like you to branch out in your <laughs> jokes, please. Okay. <laughs> Laura is just dying. <laughs> we broke, Laura. She, she's no, done. No, it's just that I'm such a sap. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you start. I saw you start to wither back there, and it was. <laughs> 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 I hate me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, do I get up there? Oh. What'd you roll? Fifteen. <laughs> yes. You can. It's not. It's pretty steep, but it's not that bad. You're able to sort of use the roots to get up there. Okay. So I go to I go to the base of the tree, and I put my hand on it, and I speak in druidic. Hey, you know we uh. We were hoping to get a look around this mine. Is it okay if we go? It's in not. There? It's not blocking anything. I don't know if I'm clear on that. It's not blocking the mine. R right, right. I'm not asking it to move. I'm asking it if it's okay for us to be there. Okay. Okay. Please continue. I'm so sorry. I, I thought, thought you know, not without consent. Okay. Never without consent. Never. I don't mean to truncate this whole conversation, but. <sighs>
I'm sorry I was so loud earlier. I didn't mean to bark at you. <laughs> ah! I, uh... Give me something to throw at him. I might have... <laughs> <laughs> Might have done messed up. Why are, um, so, why are you getting so needly about this? That's a nine. All right. There we go. Just pass the bottle around. Yeah. yeah. I treed really hard, but uh. I'm not sure if it's going to work. That is so acorny. It just doesn't stop with it. <laughs> it just keeps going. Oh, again and again. Learn! It just keeps getting arbor Learn, and arbor. I haven't seen you in ages. Ah! Oh. It is. Learn! Nice. Learn is our friend, I believe, from the Czech Republic. Oh, hi there, I've learned. Yeah. Well, Ori, how's things going up there? Is everything I've seen folk it ages? Day? Where have you been at? Yeah. Well, it's like four in the morning there right now or some shit. Really? <laughs> That's very true. Um, so thank you for joining us. I don't think I, I realized that you were from the Czech Republic, Lauren. I freaking. Prague is one of my favorite cities in the entire world. I, I, yeah, I, you've been a few times, haven't you? I have. Mm hmm. I tried to ask it a question, but I would know what its answer is. Did you just say ash? Ash it a question? Okay. Oh, for Christ's sakes. You killed it. It's just, it's, it's taking it too far. <laughs> that, that, that was too far? Okay. That broke it. It did. Anyway. These puns have gone on a bit too long. May your dreams be many. And your nightmares be few. Patrick, I also was waiting for the pun inside of it. He made a he made a look, and I was I was waiting. <laughs> You're good. All right. Oh my God, bars! Nice bars. Listen, puns are evergreen. They they're just always going to be good. <sighs> like I said, it was a nine, so I guess I crawl on down. You, you, you put, you did what you said. What you did, you don't know what the response is. Okay, right. you said what you said. Mm -hmm. That is, wow. Mm -hmm. Does anybody need the peppermint Oreos to make that taste cool? Yeah. Right Patrick needs some Oreos. Those are his Oreos. Well, these are my Oreos. I brought them. No, oh, right. I think we went through the other. Yeah, we ate the whole. Peppermint <laughs> Oreos. You can have Oreos, can't you? That's like a thing you can have. I can have anything I want. He's I a grown No, later. Oreos are everyone's better to. for you, right? No. no. No, well, they are very sugary. Oh, they are very no, they're oh, oh, I forget. they're vegan. I was trying to remember what the thing they. Oreos were. are considered the most unhealthy edible food on the planet. They're <laughs> vegan. I was remembering what. <laughs> really? Yeah. Number one is Oreos. Number two is BK's French fries. Wow. Where does Skittles fall in on there? I'm not sure. Somewhere <laughs> close. Where does Blue Box Kraft macaroni and cheese fall in there? Because I'm not giving that shit up. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You don't want to know. They it's, don't use GMOs anymore. So, so, so <laughs> theoretically, if you think about it, they should use GMOs. If you deep fat fry an Oreo, <laughs> everyone should use GMOs. Pound for pound, you're making it more healthy Lauren because the fried breading on it beer. is not as unhealthy as the Oreo itself. Quickly, send him the address. I don't. <laughs> Can you get that through customs? Can we send beer through U.S. Customs? We I can't think, send people through U.S. Customs. I think customs. sending alcohol uh, through the postal system is very difficult. Extremely difficult, but if tell you what next week, maybe I'll get some Czech Var or Pilsner or Qual or something like that. 
there's a... Uh, well, let me go in and... These are like, there, that's just peace water? I know there's probably not any good <laughs> Czech beer. Like, uh, there's not any of the best anyway, but we do have some that are available here. Continue we, your shit. Come on, yeah. we gotta get through this. Yes. So I just start walking well, in yeah, we, I, I got to the bottom, and we're gonna go in. Okay. I just walk in. I'm not waiting for these fools. Yeah, I think okay. Yeah, you head in. Yeah, I'm walking in. Hey, how far can I get in before I need light? Sorry, I don't have to drive an hour and a half for tomorrow because of weather. I have to drive to my parents' house that live 15 minutes away. Yay! Weather's not going to kick in until after, like, noon. My grandma's is in western Nebraska. Oh, I see what you're It's going to gonna get shitty out there. It's gonna, yeah, it is shitty in western Nebraska already. Oh, is it already starting? My parents said they had, like, six inches. Yeah. Sorry, Hot. Eagle. And you know what six inches you're is. Gross. What? You're gross. Just take yours and multiply you're by three. You're gross. Six inches. Uh, that's what I tell my wife. Six inches. <laughs> Depending on what time of day. <laughs> right. We're going into the mine. To the mine. <laughs> I'm already in there. Hi ho. Hi ho. How far can I get in before we need light? It's actually pretty soon that uh, it gets fairly dark. How, uh, give me a size feel to this thing. <sighs> You're able to walk in. You are 6'8", right? 6'9". Okay, you were able to walk in, but kind of just barely. Right. Um, standing straight. Um, the beaming, because of old mines, you know, that they, they, they have the trussle beaming every <laughs> five feet or yeah. something like that. Um, and you just pass under the, the trusses. Okay. I'm basically following the track. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's a straight... The first bit is a straight tunnel. Um, you go down for a bit. No, um... You guys gonna come down with me, or...? I'm following I'm you. I'm coming. Oh, okay. I'm just down here, and you can't see me. I'm right behind you. <sighs> Can somebody post Discord for, for learn? Please? Oh, yeah. Lauren, we started a Discord chat for the group, so you should join. My shit is not loading over here, so please, somebody, post the Discord. <laughs> for I am bad at doing that, but I'll do it. I'll figure it out. It's mostly fantasy football right now <laughs> in the Discord, and mostly bars trying to track. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I feel I feel better about. I, I'm no. totally cool with you sending us stuff. To learn. I, I I just feel better about posting stuff in Discord as opposed to Twitch chat. We should get the PO box. Well, I'll give. I don't give. Him, I'll give him my fucking address. I don't give a shit. Mm. But the, <laughs> <laughs> you can all come to my house. I'll just you can just show up. Who gives a shit? You can all come to my house. You're all invited. Who gives a shit? <laughs> I just, there's something about Twitch. I don't. You don't want to do it on Twitch. Yeah, understand? Twitch is Twitch is because it's owned by Amazon. It's like there's something about that that I feel like I shouldn't put that out there. You are safe. I am lazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. All right. Did you did you light the torch already? No, I'm just saying uh, I need someone up here who's got some eyes because. Uh, and who has dark, who has low light to dark I have vision? Low light, dark yeah. vision. Dark vision. I'm oh. sorry. What was that? Dark vision. I'm sorry. What was that? Oh, I have dark vision. Ori, right. if I fucked this up, let me know. But I think that's is that how you do it? Yes, that is exactly what it is. Okay, I should probably get on Discord at some time. You should. That's very fun. But it's a good place for people to shit post memes. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse my language. Swear jar. <laughs> yep. There's a lot of stuff you get in trouble for on Twitch that you can post on Discord and nobody gives a shit. There you go. Except for Pokemon. Careful. Pokemans. Yeah, there's three people that leak some Pokemon stuff that are getting yeah. sued by the company that owns Pokemon. Yeah. Like, heavily sued. Is that still Game Freak or am I behind the times? No, TCPI. I can't remember. Okay. So, I unfortunately, I don't have a torch Game Freak for a lantern with me. I've got torches, then? 
Should, right. we light, should we light up a torch for you? It's getting pretty damn dark. Joe for has a lot of torches, <laughs> and he's very bit much a fan of lighting them. I would think. There we go. I would be. I would be very right. much surprised. I'll that use one of my torches if Joe did not light a torch. Joe probably lit that torch. Okay. Yeah. I just lit the torch as well. So we have two torches. Okay. One in uh, front, one in back. Moving in. Uh, it's this. It's very steep going down this first little um, tunnel. There's probably used to be stairs off to uh, off to the right side <laughs> of the tunnel, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but now it's it, it, so rain covered. Th- this whole tunnel, by the way, is soaked. Of course it is. It rains fairly often in the a- Elderwood from winds coming off of the ocean. And everything down here is wet. It's just, it's soaked down here, right? That'll be good in case you need to use your water stuff. Right, I'm Yeah, I mean, you can pull it off I'm the fucking pulling walls. the water off. But any stairs that existed on the right side, holy fuck, those don't exist They're anymore. Gone now. Moving down this, I need everyone to please roll acrobatics. I. Oh, getting fancy now. Oh dear. Eleven. This is not that good. would have gone it's much worse. Good. Switch die. You're not in the front either. Twenty-two. Seventeen. That's good. Oh, both die. If he had 11. fallen, we're all going down with him. Uh, that would be a fifteen. Well, I'm in front. Oh, you're in front. Yeah, Joe's in back. Um, somebody want to try to catch the tiny baby goblin that's rolling down the hill right Woo! now? I grab it right then. <laughs> okay, roll reflex. No, no, sorry. Dexterity. Uh-huh. Dex. Wait. I guess we never really established order, but I'll try. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, well, let's, let's establish order. You want to be in front? Front. And I assume Joe's in back with the other torch. Sure. And then I realize that I have light cantrips, so I can cast light on anything I'm ah, okay. Of course you can. I'm just putting order. You, you don't need to switch I don't order. need it? Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, I always felt you were a very bright individual. Fuck off with your bullshit. We're done with the puns. We're done with the puns. I don't think we are, according to Ori. Ori wants to continue with it. Okay. I don't think we're done. Who's who's right after Crucible? Me. I was getting up front for the... Oh, then only... I'm the only one well, no, that means that... Well, I missed her. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. Because I, only, I rolled um, a seven. So I missed... All right, so I'm trying to grab so her. So now you've got to try to grab her. Woo! What am I rolling? Dexterity check. And that's William. Did just appear. Roll high. Yeah, because I have no bonuses. Cool. Yeah. Oh. I'm sliding down the mine Six. shaft. I'm sliding down the me. mine shaft. Here I go, sliding down the mine shaft. Maybe this is the way we're supposed to go down it, like a big giant big slide. Water slide. Mm-hmm. Just like in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> I was thinking more like in the Tenth Kingdom, but I think I might be the only person who's seen that movie. The Didn't they have a King? water slide in the Goonies? They did? They did? did they? Oh, it's been a long time since I've seen the Goonies. I tried to watch it. Uh, I've watched it several times. I like, like that movie. Like I every year it, it resurfaces that they're going to do a, a sequel. And you see original <laughs> actors. Sean Astin would be all for it. Right, right. He's I not w- doing anything. I wanted to write a sequel for it. Commercial. Oh yeah, he's the colonel now, isn't he? Well, I think the- they would all do it. I don't know. I can't think of anyone who wouldn't do it. Those that are dead, I don't know. Are any of them dead? I don't think any of the, all of the Goonies all the, are dead. All the Goonies are fine. You've got... um. Josh Broland, he's probably got the best career of all of them, but he'd still do I it. I think too. he'd still do he it. He would totally still do yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> he plays so many serious roles, but I feel like he's got a sense of humor. Aye, for sure. Which one was he? Was he the, he the, was the older brother? brother? The hunky brother. Aye. Mm-hmm. And then there's Martha Plimpton. I always thought she it. was so fine. I was like, oh, I would totally date Martha Plimpton. She's quite nice. Did you watch Raising Hope? No. 
Oh, it's That's a cute it's show. It's very good. I caught a few episodes and I thought it was fine, but not enough that I would watch more of them. It gets better. It's one of those that continues to get better as you go. Right. All right. So we're back up in the clearing. No, fuck off. <laughs> All right. Bag me. She's sliding down. I'll see you at the bottom. Quick, throw a rope. Roll reflex. Oh, Dexterity I could throw a rope. Dexterity saving throw? Dexterity saving throw. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that's very good. That's a 24. Okay. You take no damage. Woo! Uh, Superhero landing. You take no damage as you slide into a, a bit of an opening. Hey, uh, a room. There's a room down here. It just kind of it kind of opens up basically, right? Mm-hmm. And the water has pooled quite a bit. That's running down. That you're on the edge of a bit of a puddle pond. God only knows. It's kind of like a pool. So, you're looking at, um, let me get, so we've got the tunnel coming in, and it winds out very quickly. Huh? So it looks like a stomach? It's mm-hmm. a nice square room. I almost said it, but I relented. There's actually doors to your left and right. But the water starts about here and goes all the way back into that. Where just, am I? You are... Where is my last one? Just move our icon there. Yeah, that's true. I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh. So the mine's turned into a little bit of a grotto then. Grotto? Grotto. <laughs> I, mis- yeah, I mispronounced things a little bit. While I wait for them to come down to me, I would like to walk around where the water is not and just sort of do a little investigating, see what I find. Is the male's Discord acting up? No. I can't get into Discord for some reason. Oh. It had some significant updates earlier this week, so if you haven't logged in, it might take a bit. I click on the thing and keep trying to pull it up in Chrome. Not the actual app, the, the, the program. Hmm. And it won't load the program. You might have to re-download it. Yeah, maybe. Do I need a new version or something? Um, (laughs) Has the camera always been reversed? Yeah, I mirror it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mirror it so that when I look at you, when I look at you, I look at you. Exactly, bars. I never log off. I didn't either on this, but I guess I did. Um, I would like to investigate that area down there while I'm waiting for them. Okay. And she swallowed. Are you guys going to try to move down quickly now that she's fallen? I think I learned my lesson. From, okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to move down quickly. You're going to have to move past me and move down quickly. Yep. Who's the most in front? Right. 16. But isn't there enough room for me to go around him or no? It's not safely. Oh, not safely. All right, then I won't then. Uh, Bagby, you okay down there? I'm just looking around. I won't touch anything. But Bagby. you're okay. You're not hurt. No, I'm fine. All right. sure. I can see her just fine. It's not It's not that dark in here. You could probably all slide down like me and be totally fine. Is there a place to tie a rope off? No. Fine. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to break your heart there. I rolled a 16 to investigate downstairs. Okay. Or down there. So the doors on the right and the left, they are wooden, but overgrown. While the vegetation has mostly stopped on that tunnel you came down, the... Ooh, baby. 
fruits. What are you doing? You want to try one of these? Try that one. The roots seeping down in from the big tree have entered this room. Definitely. It's a piece of popcorn. Or, or at least some roots. You don't know from where, right? And the entire walls are covered with ivy and moss and flowering plants of some type. And the elephants! They're <laughs> everywhere! The water is has an amount of algae and lily pads. This is grown down here. You're confused as to how it would get UV light, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you see light coming in through back here. Mm -hmm. uh, just streaking. It's really weird down here. There's like lots of plants and stuff, and being someone who used to live underground, it's really hard to grow plants underground. Um, so I don't know where they're getting their sunlight, but there seems to be light across the way. You should come down here faster. Do you think the tree is feeding them? Probably. It's probably all magic, but I'm not good with magic, so someone who's good with magic, come down here. I think that would be Ori. Um, I mean, I've got some innate abilities with magic, but I don't understand it as much. I just do magic. Huh? Just knock your thumbs. I, oh, I, I. We have, we have someone new on the chat. Hello! Who's that? Who's new? Hey, Dr. Thumbs, what's up? Kneecap, what? How are you then? This is the Baby Fight Club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> How long does it take us to get down there at the current pace? Um, because you have to be careful, it does take you uh, about a minute to. Alright, that's not long. We're on our way, just on, uh, just try not to touch too much, and I'm sure you'll be fine. When I'm you, not touching anything. Do you just investigate and not care? Not do anything else? Yeah, I just wait for them then. Hey, beautiful. I love you. Um, we are playing D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons, 5th edition. I uh, you don't need to get the, you don't need to get the tokens. In the world of our DM, Mike's you know creation. Do you say homebrew? Yes, it's a homebrew okay. world called Krasden. So say good night, Lincoln. Good night, Lincoln. Good night, Lincoln. Good night, Lincoln. Sleep well. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and well, you can give thanks for things. Like the popcorn I gave that you? That little, he doesn't give thanks for nothing. Let's you be honest You could say here. a thank you for the popcorn I gave you? He's like, no, people's Hey, Lincoln, can you say thank you? <laughs> hey, going to bed then? Night good night. Night night. 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 He's done. Good night, Lincoln. Night. Night. Good night. He actually does do thank you now. Hello. Occasionally. See you later then. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Don't be rude. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. He's just like, piss off now. He's like, I am too tired. <laughs> He's pretty tired. To do it's tricks tired. for you, piece woman. Then. I am not your monkey. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of a child if they don't do tricks? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I, mean, I wasn't going to see it, but what it's is true. <laughs> So yeah, we have the D&D Beyond uh, extension for Twitch, so you can see all of our characters and whatnot, um, Dr. Thumbs, if you're interested. Um, I think it's currently working. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, it is. Okay. Right, it's totally yeah. working. We've got all right, a warforged so uh, elf, a half-elf, a, half elf, a goblin, and a water genasi. And we usually have a human paladin, so thank you. Okay, so you guys move down into the room. Right. Oh yeah, Vlorn, <coughs> if, you, if you're watching on the computer, you have to be watching on a computer. Um, if you hover your mouse over the screen, on the side of D&D Beyond um, will come up and it has all of the characters. You can watch live stats as far as like hit points, and then you can click on each character and actually view the, uh, the character sheet for those right. characters. Okay. I'm right in the middle there, and I'm covered up by the D&D Beyond symbol there, oh. but you can still see me. Nobody cares about you. The, no one does uh, care about me, it's true. 
Okay. Mm. Okay, so the, the brown piece, that's Will? That's Will. Okay. Uh, reminder of... Because Will we? likes to play D&D. <laughs> Maybe See tomorrow we there? can play D&D. Maybe hey tomorrow guys. we... Guys, can we play D&D? Can we just play a Guns of Scrape campaign? Guys, well, we I really don't really care about girls. Can so we just cool play D&D? 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 I am Will. I mean, he was, he was Mason for a year, yeah. so... Yeah, and then know. we just were like, I don't care about you anymore, Will. You were gone for a year, we finished our campaign, and we got girlfriends, Yeah, we got so, we got right. so over off. you, Will. <laughs> <laughs> I know we found you and everything, but can you grow up a little bit then? No. Give Will his DNA. This is the other guy, this is the NPC that's right. with him right now. Why does everyone have to grow up so quickly? I don't want to grow up. Billy. Billy Rafton. Billy? Be a hot All right. I'm rolling perception because I want to check out what this place is like. I, we already got the description from Bagby, but I want to see if there's anything else that I would notice. 18. 18. That's pretty good. Um, well, thank you. The light coming in through this other room over here is direct light. I suppose I should go check that out then. The um, From okay. somewhere in the ceiling of whatever is over here. You see that the the tracks lead into the water, Mm -hmm. and that way. And everything on that side is covered with water. We don't. Can we tell how deep it is? No. Can I throw Joe in to see how deep it is? We have a water (laughs) genasi. He's covered in heavy plate. Let's not do that. I, I rather like the water then, so I don't I go in there. Well, we all know what happened the last time you went into the water. I was going to say, <laughs> last time you went in the water, like, shit went down, so be careful. You know what? Wrong things are weird, but it'll be okay. I take my rope, I've got a 50 foot piece of rope, and I give one end to Crucible. The rope? And I loop it into a knot and put it on my wrist like I was holding a balloon. Okay. But just to make sure it doesn't pop off. And, and I also tie the, the other end to my okay. wrist. And I okay. go in the water then. Okay. And swim towards the light. Hmm. You swim into a much larger cavern. Roll perception. Lovely. What were you about to say? Mm. Sorry. 13. I thought about, like, having Joe hold a rope for me and having me go in there, too, but that seems unnecessary. That, that's okay. it. Okay. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. Um, 13. Okay. Um, How you're, deep is it? Not that deep, especially this this part of the room. I mean, you can walk all the way out there if you wanted to. It's right. slower. Swimming is much quicker for you, especially. Right. Um, I mean, she couldn't walk all so the way the, out there. So the floor is then slanted. It's slanted. Okay. You are able to swim out into this other room, much bigger room, and there's holes in the... It's very tall ceiling, but there's holes leading into just like minor. Just oh, how, how do I explain this? Small openings up into the uh, uh, upper world are providing light down in. Light there. is coming down yes. in there. Right. Multiple, by the way. What you team? see. There's a shore on the other side. Very good. With... So clearly it goes down and then back up, right? The water? Mm-hmm. What at first looks like rocks on the other side, you see one of those rocks move. Ooh, interesting. How far can I get before the 50 feet of rope runs out? Maybe 30 feet from that shore. 
So it's 80 feet away. Maybe from this 30 water. feet from certain death. And you, you can't touch where you're at. Like, if you if you put your head up, you can't touch the ground. Right. You can't touch the uh, floor. I untie the rope, and I go a bit closer then. Oh, that's going to make everyone real worried behind you. Well, I mean, I've already got a lot of slack, so he's not at the full. Okay. I'm just, I just had this tied. I wasn't, like, feeding him as he was going. Okay. So I'd like to go closer to the shore to see if I can get a better idea what's moving. Stealth? Sure. Okay. Ooh. Oh, dear. Nope. Natural one. (laughs) So, you don't think to use stealth. What do you think to do? I think just to swim up there. Uh huh. <laughs> and and see what I can see. I mean, I don't go unsure. I just want to get closer to see if I can see what's there. I'm down as I'm under the well, water. Well, you know something's alive there, right? I do. And you're not being stealthy no. to a one degree, right? <laughs> so what do you say to the things you're trying to get attention from? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's freaking primordial, then. Yeah. How are you then? My name's Duncan. <laughs> I love that we decided that primordial it was. <laughs> it was Dory speak. The rock. One of the rocks turns around towards you, and it's a big frog. I mean, big. And it looks right at you. And jumps towards the water. <laughs> I take a vase of action then. <laughs> Start swimming back to where I come from. Okay. So you, you swim all the way back. It, it, it's following you. You of can tell all is. the way. You get back. It hasn't caught you yet. Everyone roll initiate. <laughs> Woo! We haven't had a fight in a really long time on this stream. You have not. That is a really bad initiative. I'm giving that to Joe. No. <laughs> no, I'll take it. Joe probably needs the good initiative. Yeah, Joe needs the good initiative. 13. 11. Well, okay. Oh, wait. Rolling so good with my purple dice? No, no bonuses. Usually I do better with my purple dice. I got the 7, and Joe got the 6. Okay, I'll just switch off. I also have a seven. We are. My dexterity is, is better than yours, I'm guessing. Um, probably, probably. Mine's only a plus two. Yeah, no, mine is much better than that. So. I'll and I need to roll for <laughs> William as well. Now we finally get to know what William is. I think he's a bard. We'll see. You have strong opinions, I know. Um, He's going to start singing Joy to the World then. And give us all inspiration. <laughs> I'll clip that. Sketty's just clipping something. The, um. Okay. Oh None of you go first. <laughs> <laughs> As the. Giant toad pulls itself up on land. You're so you you'd be like right here, right? Right. And immediately attacks you. Of course okay. It does. It's okay though. Uh, miss. Okay. Right. Next up is. Uh, uh, well, ne- actually, next up is uh, William, but he's like cowering. So, the um, <laughs> next up is 
Uh, you. Really then? Yeah, Duncan. Okay then. Um. Don't want to hurt it. Doesn't know any better. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm going to punch this shit. <laughs> All right. Look her back. <laughs> I'm just going to use um, <laughs> shape water then. Can will you allow me to attempt no. to um, to use the water to force it up into the air by five feet and hold it there? Now shaping water, you don't have to roll anything for that. However, the strength to do that. Right, right. What is your magic based on? What stat? What core stat? Um, for sorcerer, the um, the stat is based on. Is it wisdom? It's, it's char- uh, charisma. charisma. Okay, so I would like you to roll a charisma save. All right, sounds good then. Now this is a large creature, so you're gonna have to roll really fucking well. Mm. Eleven. No. You you are una- Water shoots out away from it. You're unable to. Force it to lift. And I also roll wild magic? Yes. 11, so no. Fine. That's my turn. Mm -hmm. Next up is Crucible. Yep. Toll the dead. So I'm going to do... Toad. In this case, it's Toad the Dead. Toad of the Dead. Yes. Ah! Toad the Dead. Uh, he has to make a wisdom save of 14. It's not Hypno Toad, Larry. It's not quite Hypno Toad. I should make Hypno Toad happen. All glory to the Hypno Toad. <laughs> oh, okay, so what'd you, what'd you roll? Sorry. I didn't. It needs to roll. It a needs to roll a wisdom of fourteen. Thank you. It did not. Okay. So, so what happens? One die twelve necrotic. The twelve. It hasn't taken damage yet, though. It has not. So it's eight, right? It doesn't. Oh, you're absolutely right. Yeah. So it's eight. Yeah. Good, because my one die twelve was eight. I hate it when that happens. Six. Nice. Better than a one. It's, you know, take it. So then anything after that is a 12. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Okay. So. I do apologize if this was established earlier and I just wasn't paying attention. How big is said toad or frog? Uh, it's huge. It's quite large. large. Huge. Bigger than any of you. It's a so large toad? Like, of large size that it might have reach or... No, it doesn't. It doesn't have the um, I mean, I mean, you haven't seen anything like that yet. Uh, it uh, it how, just tried to spaces? it's tried to bite uh, uh, Ori. How basically. many spaces does it take up? Uh, one full space. Just one full space. Okay, so it's yes. not gargantuan. It's just large. Okay. This is real big. I mean, think of the largest toad you've ever actually seen. It's way bigger than that toad. Like, is it as big as a human? Well, yeah, it's way bigger. That's bigger than than a human. Oh, it's bigger than a human. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's bigger than a human. For sure. Um, Okay. Just trying to get a visual here. Hey. Next up is um, you two. So who has a higher dex? Me. Okay. Okay. I... As currently placed, you are actually... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So I will have to step into the water a little bit. How far up does it go? Shin high. I mean, it's pretty It's pretty shallow, but it would not take long for you to be totally mm-hmm. I don't submerged. Mean, because you're small. I don't mean that in like a way that's bad. It's just that you're tiny. Uh, I hit the water, I hit the water, I hit the water, I hit the water. Punch him in the face! Okay. <laughs> Do that again because it was so nice. I hate the water, I hate the water, I hate the water, I gotta punch him in the face! <laughs> um, so That's that delightful. will be a 15 to hit. Uh, that is a hit. Hooray! 
that will do seven points of damage. Okay. And then I will use a key point to make two extra unarmed strikes as a bonus action for flurry of blows. Do it. I will. I will. So I'm cheering you on, man. The first one is a 10 to hit. Miss. And the second one ooh, is a 22. That's a definite hit. Go back, me, go back, me, go back, me, go. Thanks, Vanilla Ice. Um, <laughs> that is five more points of damage. Um, I will also then do an extra three points of damage with my Fury of the Small. So an eight. So 15 Kay. points of damage total. Okay. Pow pow! Nice. Um, that was a that was a proper spanking you gave it there. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. So, uh, um, <laughs> all, frog, all fun and games till the frog breaks out nunchucks from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first amphibian to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, next, uh, Joe's last. Oh, no, you're next. Or is first or is, or is, or is um, first. Nobody's taking damage yet, right? None of us, no. Uh, I, I, I guess I suppose I'll just, uh, I'll uh, get that. Is it, is it complete, is it submerged? Or is it above the water? It's above the water, then. It's above the water. Okay. I mean, it, it can't be submerged. It's too shallow here. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, throw the little fire at it. For what that's worth, okay. produce flame. Okay. Take, the, you know, take, take this little, uh, take this little tiny uh, fireball thing, and uh, I yeet it at. It. Okay. Yeet. This poor little guy who's just hanging out. Right, Trina. Oh, it's just a oh. toad. It's just we'll doing what it. Uh, really I'll does. just find another one. I don't want to go crawling. Right. Oh, right oh, is it right there? Oh, that's an eight. I'm gonna keep that. Yeah, keep it. <laughs> <laughs> so five fire damage. Okay, five. Oh, sorry. Oh, I I, I forgot. No, no. I, I have to roll to hit. Actually, sorry. Never mind. It that doesn't sound great. Are you okay? Okay. I need to use the restroom, so I'll go check to make sure everything's okay. I guess, but uh, uh, I, I never mind that damage. I rolled a three. Okay, you're it. good. Um, Joe. Well, uh, Joseph. I'm not really all that interested in getting. He can't get into close enough to actually water. hit unless right. he gets in the water. So his, his, uh, I'm gonna. His arm has reach. Through people? Oh, not through no. people. No. So. Uh, <laughs> Just smack Ori in the head as he's. I'm trying. gonna go ahead and cast bless on. Uh, Three creatures of my choice. You just sound slow. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not good at this voice. <laughs> I'm trying to stay in the character that he has created. So, uh, I'll bless a Duncan, I'll bless a Crucible, and I'll bless. A, no, bless, bless. I'll bless a Bagby. Bless a Bagby. Yeah. What's that mean for to be blessed? So, the people who are blessed, because this is an explanation of rules, uh, whenever a target makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll an additional d4 and add the number rolled to the attack roll and or saving throw. Oh. And it is up to one minute. So, ten rounds of combat. Ten rounds? Ten rounds? Mm-hmm. So, if I'll keep trying. Tell me that again? So, essentially, whenever you attack or have to make a saving throw, you can add a d4. Add a d4 to it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is great. That's mm-hmm. real That's fucking good. Quite nice. Yeah. And you gave that to who? Us three. Okay. The people standing right on top of him. Yep. The, yep. The... Well, see? He Dr. Thumb's got it. Dr. Thumb's got it. Bless well, Pilgrim. I'm gonna cast Bless Pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to be technically Joe from Family Guy, but uh, one, I'm not a dude, and two, I don't watch Family Guy, so I just have to go He's off. He's more... I'm basically. It's more of a genuine. Laura Lynn being Morgan being, being Joe, Joe from Family Guy. Also, he hasn't done that voice in like four weeks, so. Yeah. It's more genuine than I like Dr. Thumbs. He gets it. He gets me. 
I'm assuming you're a dude. I'm sorry. That was assumption of me. Right. Dr. Thumbs could be you anything. You could be a female. Could you could be, be right. or you could be non-binary. The only thing that's required is this person has to have its doctorate. <laughs> You don't have a choice. You oh, have to have your doctorate. And thumbs. That's so cool. And thumbs. Thumbs would be nice. Vlern just gifted Dr. Oh, thumbs. Oh, thank you, Vlern. Thanks, Vlern. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Congratulations, Dr. Thumbs. Welcome to the party. All right, Toad. Suppose you want to take a swing at me then? One second. <laughs> when all of a sudden, two more show up. Martoads? They're in the water and they jump because it's considered a bonus feat for them. Because what's what toads can do? Jump from out of the water. There's two more. Shit! <laughs> That's a lot of toads. And 15 points of damage. There's two doors on each side of us. Or a door on each side of us. They're overgrown right. though. The two can doors. Can they fit through the doorway? You said they're large beasts. Alright. Can we fit through the doorway? Because the doors are overgrown. Well, we've got an ori. We do have an ori. Oh, there are more toads now. Yeah, yeah and they're all large. Okay. So thinking maybe. Now those two cannot attack do. this. This round. This round. They had to do extra movement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. However, that one can attack ori. You mean eleven? Attacking me. Attack Duncan. Duncan. Right. I'm sorry. Eleven Duncan. does not hit me. Okay. Duncan, that then you are fine. Okay. But now I get to go. But what do I want to do? I don't want to hurt him. But I might have to hurt him. Because he's not a very nice. He's or not very, flee. very good. I haven't taken any. Like, nobody's down here. I know. But keep that as an idea. Yeah. I don't know what it's going to take to bring him down. Just, uh, did. we'll keep chugging along, and if, uh, you Six. feel like we need to flee, just 20 shout 20. at me, and I'll, uh, try and slow him down. Twenty-one. I'll use Ray of Frost on him, then. Nice. Get him. Treat. So, first to hit... Do well, do well. Hey! All right, I, I, I hit him quite nicely. Okay. 23. Yeah, definitely hit. Then the one right in front of you, yes? Right. Uh, wait, is that a spell that's at melee range? Does that incur attack of opportunity? Am I wrong here? Okay. I think we decided no okay. at one point. Okay. That yes, that it does not. And then Spells he does. Don't. Um, it so like things like crossbows or whatnot. If you are firing them within melee range as opposed to their ranged range, okay. like you're supposed to, they should fire with disadvantage. Um, but no attacks of opportunity for it. But spells are different. It just has a range of up to. A okay, amount. thank you. I was just asking. Five points of. Cold. Thank you for having a response for me. Right. Hey, you're welcome. Five um, cold here. damage, and then he takes. Yeah. Um, Reduced speed of 10 feet uh, until his next turn. And then wild magic roll. 11 again. So we're good there. You're fine. Okay. Uh, up next is William. Um, Billy is going to run to the door here and he's he's taking his dagger out and he's starting to hack away at the vines keeping the door closed. And he's very frantic. He's borderline hyperventilating. Because he's not a fan of frog. But, but, he is saying, oh, I'll get us out of here! I'll get us out of here! And he's hacking away at the vines. Right. It's just a toad, William? It's just three Extremely giant toads. toads the size of PT Cruisers. But yes. But they're <laughs> just toads? <laughs> You're gonna go pee now. William, could you maybe like I don't know, sing us a song or something? Does that help you calm down and help inspire us in any way, shape, or form? Or are you just why on good God's earth would that help you? 
I don't know. I've heard of bards before, like. Oh, I'm not magical. I'm sorry. Great. You're. You have become. You've gone from like potentially helpful to a liability. This is where you are in the scale of importance now. It's okay. Like, my songs aren't. You're channeling either. one of my characters like, now. Like most actors. <laughs> You're, cha or, you're channeling like, Rin. Like most actors. Like most actors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're channeling Rin on Sunday at this particular point. Hey, Bagby's in fighting mode. You either help or you're a liability. Okay. Next up is uh, the person who's currently peeing, so they're going to pass turn. Next up is Crucible. Yep. <clears throat> We could say he holds his action until everybody else goes. Yeah, okay. he's going to hold turn until... Yeah. yeah, he's holding something. He's dick! Go ahead, Christmas. Uh, I'm just going to do... Uh, Moral support. Blurred, <laughs> blurred. <laughs> Willie's there for William's there for moral support. So much for Holloway thinking he had something special about him. Hollowell, sorry. Nobody's gotten that joke yet. Not even a joke. It's just a dumb reference. I was thinking Charmed. Wasn't their last name Hollowells? Okay. Yeah. yeah, so I got it. I just didn't say anything about it. This is not good. It's just the thing I did. <laughs> I, did I didn't get it, and I'm proud of that. Everyone is special, like Snowflakes. It's true. Crucible. Uh, yeah. Um... I'm going to cast Ray of Sickness. Okay. Interesting. Nice. Nice. On the toad directly in front of you, or the one you've been attacking? The one I've been attacking. Okay. Um, so that is 18. The plus 4 counts for spells as well as our only melee. Hits. Hits regardless. Okay. Yeah, yeah hits so, regardless. Uh, 2 die 8 of damage. Jesus. Okay. Um, plus, the target must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, it is also poisoned until the end of your my next turn. Six. Fifteen. Damage? Yep. Dead. Woo! Congratulations. You have killed the middle one. It, um, when the ray pops out of your hands, it hits the toad and immediately starts making vomiting-esque sounds, turns around, and its own intestines comes out of its mouth, Jeez. and it flops over in the water. Oh, that's pretty disgusting. Yeah. Fantastic. Strangely enough, that's not the first he time I've seen this. I had you hold turn Great. while you were upstairs, so your turn can be whenever now. You can go now, because I think I'm next. Do you want to go now? I thought I just had a turn before I went up there. Is it already my turn again? You know, you have not had a turn. Oh, well, right. So, there's a dead frog then, floating in front of me. <laughs> yes. And then Learn gifted uh, bars, uh, uh, gifted sub. Thank you very much, Learn. Thanks. <laughs> Congratulations, bars. You have double subs now. You are a super, super sub. All right. Here's what I would like. I, 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 don't, I don't know, man. I don't know when. I think they just get, like, real sick. Can I show that on stream? You did such a good job with that one. Oh, shit. I gotta, okay. So this is uh, Crucible. He 3D printed Crucible. Patrick did. Look how good that looks. It's quite nice. Using Hero Forge. If anyone from Hero Forge ever happens to watch and wants to sponsor our, uh, our stream. Uh, Please we, and thank you. We Great, all nice. have, several of us have Hero Forge minis that we have purchased. Back. So good. So much detail. I'm surprised how much detail they have on Hero Forge. Because mm -hmm. there's some other free versions out there that just... They don't compare. Oh, Hero my, Forge awesome. my art is very much Hero Forge and I colored it myself. So... <laughs> <laughs> you look, you, you, it looks great though. You did great. Right? It does a nice job. It looks great. Print it. I know. Will you allow me to use 
frostbite to attempt to freeze the water around the toad that's in front of Bar- that's, that's in front of Bagby? Yes. Use the spell. I will use the spell. All right. I'll. Um, I'm just gonna roll it for the toad as if you were attacking it directly. All right. Then okay. it would take a Constitution save throw for that. Of. Uh, target must yeah fourteen. Passes. So it does isn't frozen inside of the water. I question. Is able to resist the f- water freezing around it. However, the water is frozen it around. It is frozen around it. Then. Yes, I know the answer, but I think Great. I'd let you. So th- that did happen. It did happen. All right. So the, it is frozen. The water is frozen. The nature of the temperature in here, plus slightly running water, it's not going to stay frozen for very long. Right. Okay. Very good. I made my attempt. Moving on. Okay. So no damage to it? No damage to it then. Okay. Um, so, boop, 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 boop. Uh, that is Bagby. Yes. I will punch it again. Um, I think I probably have to... No, well, no this directly in front of me. This is the one, the new one. Yeah, I will punch him in the face. Okay. That is 19 to hit. That is a hit. That is five points of damage. Okay. Bonus action for my other unarmed strike is only a, a 12 to hit. Yeah. Hit. 12 hits? Yep. Oh, excellent. Woohoo! That is 8 damage. Okay. Okay. Um, next up is uh, Ori. Anybody taking damage yet? Yes, the one on the left. No, I meant our people. No. Oh, no, no I don't no. think so. Okay, I, I, I think think try and yeet another fireball at the one closest the to me. Very well. I didn't that Natural right. 20. Extra 4. That's a crit. Oh. Right. Yeah, we all three of us forgot our extra d4s from Joe's Bless that round. It didn't well, matter. Mine didn't matter anyway. Yeah. So. They're, these aren't overly difficult enemies. Ooh. I'm not entirely sure if crit does anything for produce flame, but if produce flame does damage, it it doubles, doubles damage. damage. Okay, do I roll twice or just double? Double. Your choice. I will roll twice because the first <laughs> one was a one, <laughs> so nine. Okay. Um. I uh, spit the hot fire. Does that cause burning? No, no, it's just a cantrip. It's not super fancy. Okay. Uh, next up is Joe. It's Joe's turn. Joseph. Um, he will move down right there Yo, next to Joe. our friend Crucible. And uh, he'll go ahead and and swing at him with his with his glaive there. Yeah. It feels like he's actually here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Morgan. How are you? That would be a uh, 21 to hit. I'm assuming since that 12 hit earlier, yep, that that's a definitely 21 hit. definitely hits. So that'd be 10 points of damage for that. He's not level five yet, so he doesn't get a second attack. <laughs> that is such a I lo- it fits perfectly bars, but it's so odd. <laughs> it makes perfect sense, but I did not go there initially. <laughs> oh, never mind. He has the polearm. That is great. Uh, he's got the uh, polearm master bonus attack feet mm-hmm. for being a polearm master. So yeah, because he has yeah. he mini max the shit out yeah, of his character. He'll, he'll swing that glaive around and hit him with the back end. So how much damage was it first? The first one was ten points of damage. Kay. That's a natural twenty. Well, yep. So we'll. <sighs> Just Morgan doing Morgan things mm. again. <laughs> so, Doesn't even have to be here. <laughs> it's almost as if he hasn't left. Honestly, the characterization is the same. So that's another 14 points of damage. Um, the, the only difference is nobody's argued with me yet. So the <laughs> <laughs> That was kind of mean. I, I, I see where you're going with that. I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, we'll go ahead. Since he's a paladin um, and has that smite thing that he can do, 
All right, we're gonna smite? Yeah, let's just go ahead and smite on that too. Um, so they'll do an extra 2d8 of radiant damage. I feel like smite should be. So that's a, another six points a of role damage. Played kind of thing. So go ahead and smite him then. And uh, by the fire of Joe's God, who I don't remember. <laughs> I, he doesn't have a specific one. He worships whichever. He's kind of like. Non denominational <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Ori and Joe, I think, both wow. kind of Discord worship what. Discord has popped off. Like, whatever okay. <laughs> God seems like they will help the most in that particular situation. So usually I say no fucking geese, but today I say no fucking toads. <laughs> I think you might be a better Joe than Joe is. <laughs> Night, Blurn. Good night, Good night, Blurn. Thank you very much for hanging out. Good night, right. Blurn. Thanks for hanging out with us, then. Get some sleep. Um... Thank you very much for the uh, gifted subs today. Yeah, that was very nice of you. Okay. Uh, By the fires of Joe. Toad's turn. <laughs> well, one of them's gonna attack uh, Joe, because they fucking should. That's a miss. Jesus Christ. One of them's gonna attack Bagby. And that's uh, 14? No, uh, 13. No. 13. Okay. So, uh, these are way underpowered, and I... That, yeah, that's happening. Okay. Um, Billy it has gotten through the ivy and is kicked in the door. Okay. Over here. Right. Actually, pretty quickly. Well, if anybody's well paying attention, like they, that was fairly overgrown, and he cut through that shit pretty quick, and uh, and L and shouldered his way through. Well, so there's like some there's some, there's some strength inside of his slender brave, slenderness. Brave, 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 Sir Robin. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't useless. left you, but he has opened that overgrown door. He has done that. We can go! We can go! We can also kill these toads. I mean, they're almost dead. There's only two of them left. Are you sure? You can lick one later and see what happens. Oh, yeah, I think no, we got this. Gods, no! <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> Did I move? All right. Yeah. No, you, you haven't moved up there. Yet. You're, you're, yeah, you, you right were there. clear the fuck over here. Yeah, how did I move? Because you, you attacked move? this guy. I attacked, no, I, I Oh, moved. I put your damage on this guy, I'm sorry. Oh, I suppose that's fine. I, I originally, because Joe wasn't in my way when I shot the fireball thing, but, um... Yeah, Fuck it, you're back over there. It doesn't matter. Shit. It does. It not not none of this matters. It uh, it's all in good fun. Firebolt would go through like through that direction anyway, even if you didn't. I got a crit, so I just uh, sky hooked. You're a hundred years old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm making a blanket, and it's going to be very cute. And I'm almost done with this. Who's who is the blanket for? Me. Well, they're not even just doing it for anybody else. I don't think like, like a nephew or a niece or something. You don't have any. I don't have any siblings. Of those things. The um. <laughs> uh, yes. Yep. Yes. Here. That's not true. You have a stepbrother. So. Here in the Midwest, we oh, got a uh, knit. We. They do. Sometimes I get cold. Yeah. Yeah. So here in the Midwest, we got a knit from blankets. No one cares. It's very cold here. I don't think you're going to want that. That's like She's channeling her internet. <laughs> yeah. Trying to be more like Nitma. <laughs> All right. Um. So uh, that's it's your turn. Duncan. My turn then. Duncan. Duncan. Slam Duncan. All right. I jump in the water then in between them to draw the tax of opportunity. Okay. No. You're within melee range. Oh, you can move around melee range without attack of opportunity. Perfect. So I move into the water, and then while I'm then when I'm there, he goes power from his true state. I will um, attempt. <laughs> I 
there's anything more useful I can do than just throwing fireballs. You gotta, when spellcasters, you got to think creatively. Right. Green is not a f- creative color, by the way. Holding it in. I'm holding it in so hard. Shut your mouth. <laughs> you fucking started this. Um, Shut up. Nobody wants your input. Nobody wants your bullshit. I'll just um, strike the one by Bagby with um, my quarter stuff then. Okay. You don't have a. Uh, spell in the um, zero level spot. I've got plenty of, of of those, but they're not doing what I want. They're not doing. They're not having much of. You have any damage anyway. spells? No, oh, of course I do. Okay, I'm just trying to. Um, I just feel like a spell would do more damage than your coder staff. Probably everybody. would. But what it kind of well, I'm trying to play the character though. Yeah, go ahead. Not, Hit it with a quarter staff. Do you, do you, dude. Boop you, it on the snoot. Boop it on the snoot. Pretty much when I... Yes. Boop it on the snoot. I went to boop it on the snoop. Snoot. 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 You fucking the snoop. pleb. <laughs> yes. An in-character goblin shawl or a cross... 17. I'm a bag. To pop it in the snoot. That and then... Hits. What was it? Seven. Seventeen. Yeah, yeah. And then five damage. Kay. Go uh, away. Okay. <laughs> uh, and that's adding your strength. You don't have much strength. Okay. <laughs> it's more just a go away. Well, I mean, that's you know not irrelevant, right? It's like punching a shark on the nose, <laughs> right? I don't want to hurt it. Okay. It's, it's like not doing me. It's making me hurt it. Crucible. Do something totally fucked up to something nearby. Because you have a spell that does something totally fucked up I to just things. now realize that I jumped into the water with a bunch of innards. Is that a level one spell or is that a level zero spell? Which one? You're, you're oh, crazy. The, the Toll the Dead? Yeah. It's a cantrip. Holy, holy shit. shit. That is... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a <laughs> fucked up X level. Oh, 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 pardon me, but that that is straight fucked. That's fucking <laughs> Jesus broken. Christ, that's broken. That is really good. Okay. Well, I mean, if they make their wisdom throw, they, there's no damage. So. But if they don't, uh, then you fuck them in the butthole. Yeah. Then okay, sorry, I sh- I'm gonna cool down. Uh, so language. are both of them damaged? Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. when I go. So and the one that's directly in front of me. Um, Totally dead. They're actually both fairly and heavily and damaged. Totally dead. So, so wisdom and 14 uh, saving throw. Because you, can, you can't cast two spells in one You're turn. You're just um, light and miss. Like one's a bonus. A spell, and one's a bonus action, <laughs> one's a cantrip. Uh, nine. Yeah. You can. No, six. Eight. Six. Six. Up with that. Damage? Six damage. Yes. You can't you kill lightly it. ask your deity to uh, Doesn't drag matter. Killed into it. the pits of hell. <laughs> Killed it. Okay. So that one, um, uh, the eyes start to bleed, and where the ears would be on the amphibian start to bleed, and then it just drops over. Uh, you guys gonna do something? <laughs> Have you not seen me punching the shit out of this tunnel? Yeah, randomly Crucible's like hard DPS for this <laughs> <group>. <laughs> Clerics, man. Clerics, man. They do people, everything. People they do think everything. Clerics are boring and like healers, but in five E, they can do anything they want. Pretty sweet. much anything. Yeah, they're Kinda. real good. They're just. Dwarves. I'm gonna play a cleric. I'm gonna play a goddamn cleric for that one. Okay. That's not true. I don't want to be a cleric. I can't play a cleric. <laughs> you can play an evil cleric. No, but a fully alignment aligned thing. There's no way I could do that. Unless it's chaotic, there's no way. <laughs> My grave clerics chaotic neutral. Okay, well, it's what I would need to be chaotic. <laughs> the um, okay. Do we have to hurt the toads? Okay, Bagby. I continue to punch the toads. Punching in, in things. Face. Punch in the face. That's Just 12. go away, toad. Okay. And second punch in the face, that is an 18 plus my 6. Hit. So they both hit. So I do. That's 5. And that's 8. You guys kept missing blessing stacks, by the way. 
It didn't matter. Right. It hit anyway. Eight total. Um, plus five, so thirteen total. Dead. Ha! Yeah, crucible. I am doing something. Pop, pop. Yeah, it's about time someone did something. She ah. she does some uh, she does like a weird cool flip kick, kicks it right in the nose, and then blood shoots out of its ears randomly, and it falls over. I'm glad we're all all right. But they're just toads. They were trying to bite you in the face. They're just doing what they do. They're just toads. They were just living their lives, to be fair. Oh, no. I I, I haven't known toads to be this aggressive, usually. Same. Are there more... Got the impression there is more than just the three toads on the other side there? From what I remember? Maybe we shouldn't head back over there anytime soon. All right, by the way, where's From all? the other room, you hear Billy uh, <laughs> off to the left. Help! Oh, for the love of Pete, oh, and I run, shite. Through, I run through them to the next room. You too? All 40 oh, yeah. feet of movement. Um, uh, Ori, do you follow? Oh, yeah. Okay. You follow into the next room. This one is not underwater. Oh, good, I hate water. Uh, this looks it's quite sad because um, I quite just look quickly. Then. It looks more. I feel quite at home in the water. That is totally fine for you. But I'd like everyone to like what I like because it makes me feel better. But I understand that you're not gonna like everything that I like. But I like to like things that you like as well. What do you like? I like smutty romance novels. And I also really like bags. And I like my summer brother, Koinda, and I like my other summer brother, Porkum. Porkums, I like him. I met him. He's quite nice. It would be harder for me to like the, the slutty romance novels, but I'll try. If you get me one you think will be nice. <laughs> oh, I'll find one for you. Don't worry. Do you like other Janasi women, or do you, do you like women, or do you like... What do you like? I do like women. Okay. He likes women that look like... I'm glad you're having the stuff. Exactly one woman. We're trying to save Will. I do rather like... Multitasking! <laughs> well, women like him more than he likes women. <laughs> we'll pick this up later. You just, you think about it, you tell me what kind of ladies you like, and I'll find you a smutty romance novel to go with it. Okay, you run into this room. I think Blah. Tyra's quite nice. I think she's... You find yourself... Beautiful. Tira. So to say it, Tira... I said Tyra, but I meant Tira. <laughs> you find yourself <laughs> in a room. Roll perception. It smells awful instantaneously. You don't need to roll for that. Oh, no. 17. It's also 17. lit. It's also lit by torches, which is different. 22. Which means someone had to have been there. 22. 17. 17. Natural 20, resulting in a 25. 17. Everybody. Um, there's uh, the natural 20 I'll give extra stuff to. Who's a natural 20? You. Okay. Natural 20 I'll give extra stuff to. But this is lar... Okay. So you run in a room full of drying racks with meat pulled over the edges and torches on the walls. They are tall. Very tall drying racks. Like taller than humans. The you? meat and skins pulled over the drying racks are toad. Ew. Yeah. Oh no, it's quite nice. It frog like legs. Chicken. Actually, no, frog legs are pretty clean meat. Mm. Aye. It's it's like a clean chicken. It honestly is a white meat. Mm -hmm. Frogs are, but toads are like warty and gross. On the okay, outside, that doesn't change the meat. But that's not like what they're like on the inside. Um, but that's. And there's a large butcher's table. And I mean large, as in it is five feet tall. Hmm. This was a butcher table for something larger than a woman. But the torches are still lit. How tall are the drow? Oh, they're still like average. They're just regular. They're they're like human height. size. Okay, then. Something there's another exit tall. to this room. Okay. It is... Large in length. Your natural twenty. What languages do you speak? Uh, 
common druidic elvish locks it up primordial and sylvan. A small mix between primordial and sylvan. You can tell a couple of letters from a sign near the table. Giant is the language, and you know that. You don't know what it says. Okay. So, yeah. I suppose that's semi, somewhat of a relief. Based on the whole eating toads thing and the size of everything, I thought that maybe it was like cave trolls or something. But giants can almost be reasoned with. Did you say giants? I have never seen a giant before. Well, they might be giants. Can you imagine? Fuck off! <laughs> they might be giants, I know what boy. They might be giants. No, for, for, for uh, in all seriousness, though, uh, I'm I'm recon I, I don't I can't read giant, but I I'm recognizing that this uh, appears to be the giant language, and based on this overall scale of everything, and the, the writing that also it is, seems. Slow. Not the most intelligent person. Sloppy. Sloppy. So, um, yep, there are giants here. They're in, it looks like, uh, this place has been occupied recently. And is William in the room? Yes. Yeah. See, oh, he's, he's with you. Oh, he's so he was freaking out. You're all in here. Just at the room, not yeah. like actually in legitimate. Well, he ran room. into a room in which everything's real big and there's like toads strewn up on the. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, everybody come close. Come close to me. How did Giant even get in here? That way in was real narrow. The other... other oh, ways in there. there's Clearly. more than one way into the mine. That's a good observation there. Clearly we need to be a little bit more careful, a little bit more sneaky, a little bit smarter than whatever might be down here. So I am going to take two key points and I am going to cast Pass Without a Trace which as long as you are within 30 feet of me, you get a plus 10 to your stealth rolls. Wow. You say that all in character. I do say that all in character. You will be extra stealthy if you stay close to me. Stay close to Bagby then? It seems seems right. It's so confusing how we're actually quieter while the Pink Panther theme is playing constantly. Can we take a moment and realize that Flood is now 30 years old? What? Okay, we're done. Flood? They might be giants. Flood. Holy shit, balls. That's a fucking old. Piss off! Alright, I'm fine now. Were you in your 30s or 40s? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's appropriate because he's a fisherman. We should keep going, though. This spell only lasts an hour. <laughs> Joe Clangs and Paladin. <laughs> Interesting note. <laughs> he still gets the plus 10 to his stealth. Okay, are you going to keep moving? Aye. Shall we be stealthy about it? Yep. And I feel like it's not necessary that we have Joe roll for anything. <laughs> Would you like me to roll stealth for Joe? No, it's fine. Okay. I have so a, we're, we're going to... Are we rolling yeah. stealth in? Yes. I yes. have a dirty 20 for myself. Twenty three? Or 24, excuse me? With your plus 10? Mm-hmm. Barely hear myself moving. Seventeen. With the plus ten? Yep. Oof, the, the, yeah, the You're welcome. Yeah, yes, the, thank you very much. The, yeah, that plus ten gives me uh all of nineteen. What was yours? Twenty-four. Okay. Nineteen <laughs> seventeen. Okay. Um So you're moving? You move through this hallway, yes? Much mm-hmm. taller. Not original mm-hmm. to what you expect the mine mm-hmm. would be. Not at all. It's mm-hmm. really weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, there, 
potentially was a path to the left as you held through, head through the hallway, but it's caved in at this point. Um, heading forward, there is a large door. Well, there's a door there. What do you do? Um, would anyone like to investigate the door? Um, they haven't gotten into ma any magic items yet. I mean, they've run across some magic items, but they haven't, like, gotten magic items. So, I, I, I'm to understand we are now in a walking space large enough for a larger being to pass through, and that the door equally must be semi-large. Yes. Um, what is it? What is it made of? Is it stone, wood, metal? Wood. It is wooden. Wooden door. Um, it is. The door is not so large you cannot reach the handle, which is simple. A simple rope pull on either side. Oh, okay, so it's it's pull. It's it's clearly marked pull, not push. No, it's, it's just a <laughs> rope pull. I mean, it's a dual sided. Hinge on either side, and you pull on a fucking rope through the. Th okay. Um, Dual knotted rope. You know what I mean. I, may I inspect it for any obvious traps? Well, more or less than obvious, if I get a really good roll. Investigate. Investigation. There we go then. Okay. There's no rogues. There's no trap sins. That's a ten. You don't think there's any traps there? Okay, I uh, I open the door. Okay. You and open it the door. explodes with power word kill. You're dead. <laughs> that is not true. Um, okay, you walk into a much larger room. This room is... Littered with curtains. Anybody who can see into this room, if you would like to move into this room, and let's be clear here, because of this hallway, you can move too wide. However, if you move into the room, this is very well lit, and it has furniture and fires, bonfires, readily visible to anybody. Now, do you move into a location that can see into the room? You know, I'm all for exploring. You always seem to move. Ori uh, is. You, a, you've already fucking chosen. You said you opened the door. No, what I'm telling you is, every time you try and move me, you always move Duncan. That is Duncan. You are correct. <laughs> We're quite different, team. I don't know why he does that, but he does. Now. I don't, I'm, I'm all for exploring places and seeing new things, but we came down here for shiny blue glowing rocks, and I don't think they're going to be in a giant's living room. I'm simply asking location right now, so that anybody close to the front can roll perception. If you are not in the front, you cannot roll perception, you cannot see into the room. I am not in the front. I'm close to the front. I would be pretty much behind. You're quite small then. You can go too wide in this hallway because of the nature of the large hallway. You should probably go in there. Yeah, I would be right there. Crucial. Where are you at? William's way in the back. You're quite small too. Theoretically, someone should be able to see over Maggie. No offense. None taken, I'm very short. I'm just going to follow in line. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this can go too wide. I if know. If you'd like to be up further, okay. I'll keep an eye out. Joseph here. would probably be closer to the front, I right. think. Mm-hmm. I'll stay at the rear. Does that Alongside. make sense, to everybody? That Alongside. lineup. Mm -hmm. I. I feel like William would be um, like hiding in the previous. <laughs> <laughs> he based would be on... pretty far back. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he would be giving a wide berth, I would think, based on his prior behavior. It's pretty true. You hear him in the back, starting to. William, William, William. 
Just relax then. It's okay. I'm breathe. Not, I'm not breathe like, I'm you. not used to this. It's not good for me. No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Think of things that you love. What do you love? What do you love, William? I love my loot. Think of your loot. I love singing. Think of sing. Don't sing, but just think of singing. I love my novels. You like reading them, then? Think of those. Just breathe. Ben, breathe can regular. you tell me about one? No, she's busy then. Don't bother her. Okay, anybody in the top three? That is Joseph Bagby. And Ori. Ori may roll perception without a negative. You two can roll perception at disadvantage. Disadvantage. Uh, dirty 20 for Bagby and a 6 for Joe. He's not so good. Nope. He's got what I told, already told him. 15. 12. 12. 24. 24. 30, 20. 30, 20. Okay. Kind of all of you, honestly. Inside of this very large room, like I said, much larger than the last one, um, the only room that's bigger is the room you swam into, honestly. It's a very tall room. There are canvas linings throughout the course of this. They're not tents, per se, but they outline walls for what you would consider housing. You see on the far end a very large ogre stewing a pot over a large fire. You can't you couldn't tell initially because a fire closer to you, due to the smoke and the nature of a fire, obscured that vision. But an ogre is on the other side of the room, stirring a pot, a cauldron, over a fire. It looks like there are multiple housings in this room for very large creatures. <laughs> we slowly back. Roll go stealth. Away. Still plus ten because it hasn't been an hour. It hasn't been a minute. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's a twenty-nine. <laughs> Twenty-six. Thirty-one. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. I would. You guys all did great. <laughs> I would also like to. Carefully close the door. <laughs> it's just like... So what you know, now that you have exited into the other room, this drying room with a butcher's table, the previous room that you were in, belongs to, belongs to ogres. Yeah. So I think we have to go across the the water. There's another, There's another door, door across the on way. the other side. What if it leads to the same kinds of like ogre apartments? We, I again. You guys figured it we out. won't know until we actually go check it out then. So I say we go check it then. Because there's going to be more toads if we go through to the, to think through dealing, the water. De dealing with more toads is probably better than dealing with ogres. Right. I'm, I'm sorry. That's, that, that, that's my bad. I did not consider that the, the sloppy giant language might be ogres. Um, but if we go the other way, and maybe there's not ogres there. We don't know until we see I'm it. I'm in favor of uh, options that do not involve lots and lots of, like, an entire town of ogres. Okay. I understand. So let's go back to the, the room with the beach. Aye. Where we can talk a little bit louder and maybe the ogres won't hear us. Right. Or can you do anything to, like, re-block up that door? Put some vines in it. It it, it, it wasn't blocked to begin with. I just, I closed no, it. No, 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 the other one. The one, that, the one that Will broke down for us during oh. the fight. 
because it was overgrown with trees You can make it things. overgrown again? With your entanglement? I can, but if I... Oh, because that's a spell. If I, if I, I... I can, but the tangles will fall away if I try and do anything else that makes me need to concentrate on it. Right. I, I can only do... There, there are some things where I can only do the one thing at a time. The good news is, he only got away enough that we could get through there, not enough that mm-hmm. the ogres could get through there. Uh, Joe pipes up and says, Well, um, the, uh... It'd be up to the guy on the fourth wall, but I've got a little, uh... A little divinity of nature that, uh... Is blessed upon me that right. I could maybe try. Let's try that then. The the fourth wall's gonna have to tell me if it works or not. Crucible, what are you thinking? I don't know. I'd still like to check out that other door. Aye, agreed. Aye. Once we're out there, can we close this one off? Yep. If if it's just you and me, let's go check it out then. That's what I want to do. I mean, I, I certainly wouldn't. Be, I I wouldn't be able to close it permanently the way it was before, but I could obscure the view through it if if it's possible to make flowers bud on the vines. Will that take a spell slot away from you? If we're speaking strictly... Joe! That is a... Yeah, that, 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 that is a cantrip, Joe, so you would not have to worry about the metagame consequences... I mean, right. it's not really metagaming. Spellcasters know how many uh, spells they can cast per day. It would what. not be particularly straining. Right. Excellent. All Excellent. right. We have a plan, then. Okay. Which plan? That'd so, be. Well, I'll ask about the first thing first. Well, we're course. going to go back to the room where we fought the toads. Yes. Um, the first thing that we're going to ask is because uh, we're thinking that we would like to re-block up the one door that we came through. Sure. Um, Joe has kindly offered to use some of his divine magic. He has this lovely thing called Nature's Wrath. That as an action, he can cause spectral vines to spring up and reach for a creature. Um, could it potentially be allowed to have those spectral vines wrap around the door? instead of the creature. Reach up for a creature. To clarify, and I say this because I was confused at first, we're not talking about the door we just closed, we're talking about the entrance that William chopped through. Yes, I understand. So basically, it's his way of creating vines that he has, but it's specifically meant to be used for combat. Um, I'll I'll allow it. Yeah, sure. Okay. It gives Joe something to do, and then you won't have to use a spell. So, Joel will use his channel divinity of nature's wrath to reseal that door. Okay. I did. I did establish that my thing was a little yeah. check, but. Step two of the process would be clarify. <laughs> um. Potentially breaking down the vines on the second door. Much less barred than the first door, honestly. Excellent. So it will take less time. But it is more damaged, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Perhaps something has been through here recently. That's uh, four. That's four? Mm-hmm. We'll just pass the button. Just pass the range. Um, roll perception on this door. Or investigate. No, it's investigate. Natural 20. Jesus Christ, you're rolling so many of those. 18. Holy shit. That's my second one. The, 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 group, no. as the, the, the group as a whole has gotten a, a fair, I've fair only bit of natural two. 20s. Mm. I've gotten two okay. tonight, which is like my Nat record 20. for... 18. 18. Oh, uh, on my investigate, not not great. It will, I rolled a ten. I think my investigate ability is like a plus two. So, do you care? Um, uh, yeah. So that's just a twelve for me. Um, but no, it's been it's been oddly spread out. Like where one of us gets like a real high roll. Okay. At any one thing. Um, natural twenty. 
And the other high one, I think it's Crisble. Was it Crisble? Uh, I had an 18. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's clear markings on the... That are supposed to be language of a type. You don't recognize that language on that door. And they're recent. They're not like this door is old and the, these markings are old. These The markings are more recent than... The door and the markings are crude, at best. There are markings on this door. I don't recognize them. Do either of you two recognize these markings? And I will point them out to them. Oh, no! more crude markings. That uh, does not bode well. I would take a look. I... Shout been. out to Lichlair for the uh, retweet. Woo! Lovely. Ooh. Lovely. Oh my gosh, I forgot to. <laughs> Crude markings, probably dick butt. You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> May Lord Umberley's wind lead you true, but never leave you adrift. Is that a fart joke? <sighs> All right. I'm sorry, Madam Umberley. Madam? Not a lord? We go to Madam? I've used lord in the past. Do we want to go Madam then? She is feminine. I, I realize this, but she's still a lord. We're going to do that. We're going to do the feminine masculine thing. Lord so is we're going to do. She identifies very feminine. Very fe All right then. Very feminine. She identifies herself as very beautiful. That's actually. So, a thing. Madam then. Yes. From now on. Dame right. would also be acceptable. Or a bitch queen. She doesn't depends, like that so much. Depends. I mean, that's Are you what, talking to her directly? Because that's uh, what most people say, but I don't think she likes that directly. They're gonna be seaside anytime recently. Right. We are dangerously close to water. So we're gonna say I didn't say that. Not directly. seaside. <laughs> You're not dangerously no, close seaside. to seaside. We're fine in that way. <laughs> right. What are we then? So do either of those two recognize the markings? Uh, no. No, no, they're just mm -hmm. like... Uh, they're more hieroglyphics than they are a language. Okay, so they're dissimilar from the ogres riding in giant. Yeah, they are. Well, And they're not primordial then? No. No, it's not a language. It's it, again. It's is more it hieroglyphics. Symbols? Oh, it's it's symbols. It's pictograms. Right. What do the pictures look like to me? Um, uh, plants. They're just pictures of plants. Oh, that's very nice. Maybe oh, there's an arbor arboretum on the other you side. You like plants, Ori? Can you tell what it says? I, I, I. I okay, you feel the same. I'm gonna way be about honest. I'm gonna be honest. Plants and skulls. Plants and skulls. Okay. Well, here's the thing. There's some there's some foreboding stuff on there, and you, everyone keeps asking me about the plants and the trees and whatnot. Like I said before, and I feel like I don't know. Anyway, the point is, I like plants the way I like people. Some of them I like. Some of them are kind of excuse my language, kind of dicks. Really is the same way with plants and people. They have different dispositions. Plants versus zombies. I get you. Do you think it could be like? Oh God! Is there you talked about plants and skulls on the on the pictographs. Mm. Is it a game of fucking plants versus zombies on the other side? <laughs> it could it possibly be magical in nature? I know sometimes like when people write glyphs and things, they put weird symbols oh, that, and stuff. That that may be, unfortunately. If we were to, speaking candidly here, I do not have the detect magic as uh, any of my current abilities. Neither do I. Hey, Joe. Yes. Hey, can we Are unplug th unplug three real quick? I think that's this one. I can't see until I put this on. Right, are you solid? Yep, I'm go. good. 
Back in. We're good. Thank you. Wait a bus. I'm now looking at I'm I'm now looking at waveforms to <laughs> see if we have a bus. <laughs> Right. Okay then. Let me tell you about no. the birds lady. and the yeah, you're cr- lady. And the flowers and lady the Umberley. And the birds up. Lady. Lady Umberley. Let's go with Lady Umberley. That's a good one. That's good. It's good. I'll go with that one then. It's trying to show her respect for sure. It's trying to show respect by telling her large. L- lady, like Lady large. Laura. She likes huh? Lady. Lady Laura. What? That seems respectful, right? Like, it's weird. But is it as respectful as Lord? It's Lord and Lady. Would you rather be They're on the Lady same. is submissive? No, it's Lord terms? and Lady. They're on the same, same thing. It's like King and Queen. They're the same level. It's like Lord, Lord and Lady. Lord and Lady are supposedly parallel. But who trumps? It's like Knight and Dame. Lord trumps? That's what I'm saying. In the reality of history, yes, but in the reality of what the titles are supposedly supposed to mean, no. Well. <laughs> Booze is working on chat. It is. <laughs> Good to know you that. It's true. I'm really true. <laughs> okay, so what are we fucking doing, guys? We're, I guess we're going to try and get through this. Crucible, do you have an opinion? Yeah, I've got an opinion. I'm walking through the door. Okay, you walk through the door. <laughs> the door doesn't have as many vines. You're able to just, with a little bit of strength, push it open. Okay? And actually, you feel like you broke the door a little bit when you did it. You walk into a room that is similar to the similar in size to the drying and butcher room. Or how do you pronounce However, that? there's a large so you... opening in the back right corner. If you're looking straight, like walls to your right, straight back, back right corner is a large opening where there's a bit of a cave in. Okay. A lot of greeneries grown in here because of that. Is there like holes in the ceiling or anything like that? That's the one hole. Okay. It, 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 no, it's a full cave entrance there. You know what I mean? Like, you could, you might not be able to fit through there, but she would be, and right. those two ducking down for sure. I'm pretty but, wiry. Yeah. <laughs> Do I see anything that could potentially be of danger right now? Perception? Yeah. No, I don't see it. 11. Okay. Anybody else want to roll I'm perception? right behind him, then. Yeah. I suppose I could keep Move in. into the room. All right. Oh. oh, well. 15? 18. Darn! <laughs> That's a 30. Darn. Darn. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. Here's what the room looks like. This, this is all table. rubble. Okay, all rubble over then. here. This is the door you're coming in. Right. So we'll put uh, crucible here first. What were your rolls? Third, my, uh, 15. 15, 18, 18 13. 13. 18. Uh, well, everybody sees the door off, the two doors off to the left, right? The two exits mm-hmm. off to the left. This one is, there's no door on it or anything. You can see it leads into water, and you assume it leads into that larger room that he explained. You can easily assume, because of the nature of how big that room was, you can assume it leads into that room. Mm-hmm. Right. right. This door, you have no idea. It's actually rather dark. Despite the light coming in through this hole right here. Okay. This is where the light's coming in. And it's very lit here. This is all greenery. There was a green marker. Next to... Oh, wait. Is that the green marker or is that the... There's a green one next to the soundboard. Oh, there is a green marker. Well, now that we're already in here and probably in mortal danger, does anybody think that maybe... 
the skulls by all the plants doesn't necessarily mean that there's undead creatures in here, but so much as the plants kill people. I think it's definitely option two. Right. Greenery all over this. It's uh, an ivy-esque grass floral. Some uh, viney. Yeah, yeah, viney, but it goes across the floor and the walls. Not thick, but, you know, you can't see the floor through it, for sure. You know what I mean? Right. But it's not tall. I pick up a little patch and I run it through my fingers and I'm like, hmm, Alabama creeping bean. <laughs> Fuck you. The William behind you. I'm having, I'm having problems. This is a lot of stress. I'm sorry. What calms you down before you go on stage to perform? Well, I, th I think that. I don't know. Stage is different. I think about the crowd and the players and, the, and all the preparation we've done beforehand, and it doesn't matter. I take him by the hand and I say, William, I am about to lay some very deep truth on you. The entire world is a stage. <laughs> and. You All have these been people merely players. <laughs> and every moment of your life up until this point has been your rehearsal and your practice for this moment and this performance. Oh, my God. You've blown my mind. I'm a smart little goblin. You're the beautiful young sort. Did you just call me beautiful? I'm a goblin. I mean, that's weird. <laughs> 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 um, whatever. <laughs> like, so what does the fluster <laughs> condition do? <laughs> Are we going in this room or not? Disadvantage on all charisma checks. The um... <laughs> We're in the room. We are actually in here. Um, so yeah, you're, you're all in here somewhere. Um, can I try and Peer into the darkness of uh, that far hallway. Roll percept. What was your perception before? No, sorry, you wouldn't have to get get. Oh, I don't get a dual. Well, it was only a thirteen, so no, probably not. Uh, no, I do have dark vision. Uh, it's a hallway. Okay. And it's much smaller. It's not ogre sized for sure. Well, I'm starting to think that like the mirror passages, better option. I go into the water then. Oh, okay. Just to make or sure. Do that. Okay, yeah, that next room is definitely that toad room. Do I see more movement in there? Yes, but they're smaller. You've clearly dealt with the larger ones. Right. Fine, I come back then and I let them know what it's all. What did you see? There's definitely more toads going that direction, but they're quite a bit smaller then. I think we took out the big ones. Oh, so we already dealt with zits, rash, and pimple. Right. Do you want to try something? Fuck yourself. Do you mind? Fuck yourself in the face. No, try something. So much heat. I take the torch and I inch towards the greenery. Okay. And I probe it with the torch. The, the greenery seems to move backwards slightly. You are so smart. I think the greenery's are afraid of the fire? Ori, can't you make fire all by yourself? I can. I, uh, we've got, you know, based on the pictographs and uh, the fact that the greenery seems to be sentient, I don't really want to, I don't really want to anger it if, if, if not necessary. I'll, I guess I can can you talk to it then? I can, yeah, yeah I suppose you can try. Um, so. Crucible? At, at, at great Did peril, you? I'm sure I will approach the patch of thick greenery. Just in case. Do you Hold on to his belt. Do you have any oil on you? I sure do. Balsamic. 
It's like a say? vinegar. Balsamic <laughs> vinegar. Balsamic. Extra vinegar? virgin. <laughs> Sesame. Sesame oil grape burns oil. nicely. And interestingly enough, like the, the grapeseed oil, I've heard, like really alters the flavor a Is lot. Is this necessary? Than... <laughs> Thank you. Crucible. <laughs> It may, it may chat laugh. No, no, me shutting you down may chat laugh. <laughs> Warrior, were you going to talk to the plants first before I set this place on fire? Yeah, I was going to try that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to figure out how I can, like, spray out some oil to while he's talking to the plants. <laughs> well, hey there. How are you? Now? The thing is, I don't have a ton of oil, so we got to figure out how to use it to its best. Okay. Right, right. Well, uh, hey there. How are you now? Um, would it be okay if we uh, just kind of mosey on through? Roll. If you if you wanna if you if if, if yes you can just kind of plan. roll persuasion. Just kind of scooch, just scooch. Roll scooch, persuasion. Scooch. Roll persuasion. Natural roll twenty. Natural roll twenty. Natural roll twenty. Fifteen. They don't seem to move, but they do seem to react to you talking and getting close to them. What? What is the nature of the reaction? The so flowering funny. parts move towards you as if they were eyes looking in that direction. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They angle nope. towards you. Nope. Mm -mm. The. Vine parts seem to the end. The vine ends seem to angle towards you as if spikes. Nope, this is a big old room of dope. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it. This is me. As I, I will. I will. I will agree. This is a large size nope. Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I will agree that this seems foreboding. However, I am uh, I am sworn as a protectorate of nature not to be the aggressor in this situation. So I'm going to take a brave step forward and see how it goes. I can go through the water then. Are you going to be to pissed at me if I punch your plants in the face? Because I'm probably going to punch his pants in the face. Walk on the bottom all the way over there to the other toads. We also oh, got are, 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 do you think we could just get along get along through through the water? Well, there's some other toads this time. I mean, there's no big toads left. We just have to make a choice. Are we gonna send? Are we gonna try to make it through? Maybe maybe that or would be safer. All I'm saying is I, I I don't abide by setting the thing on fire unprovoked. If you don't want to set it on fire, then perhaps we should go through the water then. Crucible? I can walk through the water, but I'm concerned about our friend Joseph. He, he might have some issues. Right. I didn't bring Joe. floaties for him. You could also stay on this side. Well, I'll we'll just stay it on this side and I'll watch the entrance Do and uh, make sure the ogres don't He's getting come out. slower and slower every time you do this. I'm also really tired. <laughs> I feel like I'm close to speaking primordial. <laughs> oh, he's learning. He, he's always expanding his, his, his language base. I know you love him. <laughs> so... How deep is the water? Could Crucible perhaps... <laughs> Dr. Thumbs is... Dr. Thumbs is encouraging. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> Dr. Thumbs is saying go ahead. So that's a go ahead. Oh, oh okay. Clearly that's what we Just go should... out there. It's fine. Go, go out there into the... Into right, the grass. Into the grasses? Into the... Into the, into the plants? Or that into the water? That seems a lot more interesting slash dangerous, but I think we should go the safe road. Um, <laughs> do you think you could... Potentially, Crucible, you're 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 a, a sturdy lad. Is it uh, the, the with the depth? Could he just like dirty dancing style hold Joe up as he walks through the water? I think it's it's deeper than that. Oh, it's deeper than that. And the and the bag is not a the bag is not a big fan of the water. Oh, I fully intend on riding on top of Crucible's head. But like, but I'll sink. I'm walking on the bottom. Walking on Apparently. Bottom. But Bagby, I'm not sure I can make it across that water. 
Are you allergic to water or something? You were just complaining I'm not about a not having a bath. strong swimmer. How how deep does it go, Duncan? How high is the water, Duncan? I jump back in the wa- into the water then. Okay. And I get a measurement of how deep it goes. Okay. The the middle of the toad room actually gets kind of deep. The whole thing is angled on both sides mm-hmm. to what used to be probably a tunnel leading in both the right and the left. Those are totally caved in at this point. But yeah, it actually does get kind of deep in the middle. 20 feet? 15? 25, 25 to 30-ish? 25 to 30 feet. So you swim back over there. It gets pretty deep then. <laughs> There's no way for us to, you know, not get you wet, Bagby. I mean, I could swim across the top of it then, and you could be on my back, and you could not get your face wet, maybe. But, but Bagby, I don't. Please. I'm not sure right. I can. I can't make it. How about you ride on Duncan's back? Duncan is a really strong swimmer, and he'll keep your head above water. And. I mean, I could ferry you all both across then and come back for the other one. I can true. swim, I just don't like to. But there's a to fox at... and a duck. Fox and a duck and a bag of seeds. <laughs> I'm going to look at Ori at this point. Ori, are you sure you wouldn't just, I don't know, maybe just clear a path with the fire? Or even perhaps the ice? Would you be okay with that? We don't know. It's uh, th- there's there's signs that it could be aggressive, but it just could be misunderstood and misconstrued. I don't want to be the uh, I I I can't abide by being the aggressor here. I'll take the first steps across. If that's the way we need to go, I'm behind you. Then let's go with the plants. We're losing. Pass without a trace. How long Plants, have been here? go! Oh, Alright, we are going to... Minutes. Okay. We can try and be sneaky-wise. I, I, pull the wall. I pull the water from one of my water skins and I have it hovering ready. Okay. Because I can freeze it at any moment. When I and I pull it out my two uh, oil skins. Aye, we're ready. We're oh, behind well, you, if, uh, you guys we'll are going you know. through the plants, I'll just come along too then. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you take the torch. You're get ready to set this up. You're just delightful. <laughs> I'll keep a torch handy for uh, any oil in that needs to Thanks. happen. Hey, hey Joe, are you ever going to argue with your GM again? As long as I'm here, you'll get no arguments from me, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so. Also, does anyone want to hire me as a voice actress? Anyone? Anyone want to I'm available. I, I, I hold up no flame, passive as I can. I try to quietly walk forward. How do you hold up no flame? Are you just like... I well, no, I, I don't have a. It's it's like, I'm saying I don't have produced flame. Eternal I don't, I'm not, flame. So, I, 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 at times where I was ready to fight, I would hold up the flame from pr- my produced flame camp. Okay. So the idea is I'm just. Okay, uh-huh. so you take a step. Yeah, very, yeah. very. So slow. you take a step. Mm-hmm. Slowly. How, how do you take the step? Roll stealth. stealth. Are you stepping? Or are you. Are you tiptoeing? Or are you just. Are you meandering? I might say I'm tiptoeing through the tulips here. <laughs> Perhaps you're. I don't know. Maybe. Um, I hate all of you. Everybody <coughs> shut up. <laughs> Try oh. sashaying. Sashaying might work here. Everybody shut up. <laughs> With Chad, the bonus, shut up. <laughs> With the bonus, that is a 25 stuff. Are you going to. Are you going to sashay? So, with your first step, and everybody's watching. Perhaps you should meander. He takes a step into it, and the ivy moves away around his foot as it steps onto cobble underneath. 
With his next step, the same happens. I'm going to go behind him, attempting to follow his footsteps. Does it close exactly. back in after he gets He's after? five foot eight, and you are two foot nothing. I have a 40 foot movement speed. Roll acrobatics. Does it close back in after his foot leaves the space? That is a natural 19 plus 6. I'll be clear on the fact that Ori is 6'1. Six 6'1. One. Six one. <laughs> Better. 25. You're eight, you dance between his footsteps, and yes, they seem, they, as his feet move away, it starts to close, but as you land, they widen again. See, William, it's a dance. It's like dancing. Just dance across. Not particularly great at choreography. <sighs> what? <laughs> I like him. If I weren't Ori right now, I would be asking him what the fuck he is good at. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I like him a lot. I really like him. Okay, uh, yeah. I was he, about ready just to. He does an okay job you. following right behind you, and mm-hmm. he's doing an okay job going in the same footprints. Anybody else? One, two, three. One, two, three. You two are both taller. It's not as hard for you to go through the footsteps. Right. Following along. And you head to this opening? Yes. This greenery stretches maybe five feet into this opening, but it stops after that. One, two, three. But extending on the walls. The I it's no longer on the floor, but it extends over the walls. The ivy the flowering, all of it, by the way, thorned, Carses? like a rose's mm-hmm. stem. Wow. I guess that's why they say. No, Philip. I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. I'll kill a man. On stream, I'll do it. <laughs> You move down that hallway, only but a few, maybe ten feet. You open into a large room. How large is it? Large as your mama's butt. (laughs) Good one. (laughs) <laughs> and that's when he TPK'd us because of snark. Are you being snarky because she, what? she puts out or because she's dead? Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's well known she does both at the same time. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> That one hurt. Wow. The, um... Okay. Nope, that's not correct. That's not right. Because not everything can look like part of the digest- digestive tract. No. <laughs> Unless, in fact, we are in a giant digestive tract. It's, yeah. it's quite possible, isn't it? <laughs> Anybody who's seen episode 5 of Star Wars knows that not every cave is just a cave. <laughs> okay. Got that from Empire Strikes Back, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. I said episode 5. Okay, right at the bottom. Right Empire 6. Bottom. Empire's five. Oh, Empire's five. <laughs> what? It's right at the bottom. Yeah. You come in through this entrance down here. All right, so Ori came in first. Ori came in first. Followed by Bagby. hey Followed by William. Oh, William is making progress. He's uh, middle of the pack now, although that might have been something. You do that, and then that, and then... Why not? Joe's in the way back. The, um... (laughs) You're very good at William wrangling. I appreciate it. What do we see when we get in there? Oh, perception. 
17. Well, the first things you see, and everybody will see this, this room is completely caved in on this side. Right, right side caved in. And that greenery spills out into the middle. But not all the way across. No. There's also a running waterfall down into this area, and the greenery is part of it. Oh. Is there any koi? Is it pretty? No, it, it's the, it's running down from the cave in somewhere. You don't know where the water comes from. There's no fish in it or anything like that, but yeah. Probably from a lower water table. Mm-hmm. Well, this is up a hill. So it's coming down from the cave in, and yeah. mm-hmm. oh, okay. Probably a stream. Then. Yeah, me have. Um, I have a, or, or for I don't know if you're doing perception checks. I'm sorry if I'm out of turn here. I got a nineteen. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else may roll perception normally, if you like. Seventeen. I'm in the I'm in the box. Like they jump up and try to see things. Okay, 17. 17. 17. What was yours again? What was 19? 19. Nine. Um, <laughs> the running waterfall coming down the rocks uh, is... In, it's fairly steep up this caved-in embankment. Um, it's cutting through all sorts of rocks and piles of dirt and blah, 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 blah. It's very scattered. Leading into this pool in the middle. Uh, the greenery around it and in it is lush. Um, no roots from trees or anything like that, but the vines stretching in from the cave in are thick. How many seas? Yes. On the opposite cool. side, wow. the greenery continues into large clumps is what the best way to describe it. Seems to be favoring the right side. There might be a little bit of sunlight coming Almost, in there. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, the Based on how outside you would assume you're still on the correct side of the hill that a light would generally hit. Get more light on this side of the cave than the other side if it would hit it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It looks like bushes or something on the other side. Mm-hmm. Like it's growing pretty well in here. All right, not wanting to deal with any of the shrubbery. I'm going to go ahead and move around to the uh, northeast corner there, or northwest corner. Yep. Okay. I'm going to check out that passageway. Um, stealth or just walking? Just walking. Okay. Um, uh, avoiding the water. Yes. Okay. Kind of feel the need to check the water, though. Probably for the best. Right? Okay. You're going to check it? Right. I edge up to the to the edge of it then. Okay. Edge up to the edge. I'll, I'll stay next to, to going in then. <coughs> <coughs> I give Ori one end of the rope. If I tug hard, pull. And I go in the water then? Okay. Careful. Okay. Go into the water. Right. Six ten for um perception check inside the water? Okay. Inside it's uh very green. You have the mossiness, um topiary growing over the top. Um inside there some water plants are growing up. There's a clumping in front of you. Um, and it turn around, turns around and looks at you. Right. <laughs> would you like to stop here tonight or would you like to keep continue going? It is 445. 945. 945. 945. Not 445. <laughs> 945. Maybe we so, should stop here if you think Perhaps we should stop. I saw fours and just <laughs> it said many fours. So some plants have looked at me and we're stopping for the night. I like that. I like that. I, I, like, I feel like that's a good cliffhanger mm-hmm. there. Or, Indeed. Um, 
Oh. No, I can't come up with anything better. All right. Is this cereal? So. Thank you much for watching tonight. We'll catch Great. you next week. Yes. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Come back to see us then. Imagine any reason. Uh, Doctor Thumbs, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much, Doctor Thumbs. Thank it's you. great Thank to you, see Dr. you. Thomas. Normally, we would be back tomorrow, but we're not because it's Thanksgiving. Yes, we're going to skip tomorrow due to Thanksgiving, but generally, it's Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. Uh, we will be back Sunday with the um, Starfinder stream. Mm -hmm. We will be streaming then. Um, until Sunday, see you later. Have Happy night. Thanksgiving, Happy everyone. Thanksgiving. Thank you very much, uh, Learn for, for the uh, subs tonight. Uh, thank you very much. Um... I feel like somebody else subbed tonight. Um, uh, it was a celebration. Warren, Warren did uh, did uh, subs Bar for Skettis. himself and for uh, for bars. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Happy to be here. And uh, shared bars. their sub. Yeah, and, right. it's Skettis. Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Have a good one, everyone. Woo! Be good.